But fucking, I heard it. I heard it, and I fucking, like, my fucking brain simulated the fucking hit. And I fucking hate that. Actually fucking hate that. Now. <laughs> there. There. There's the torrent. Fucking ow, my face. Jesus. Me and Unveil head pat. Plead the fifth. Plead the fifth. Ugh. Very violent. Like, like, like you've had run-ins with police before, and you know that it generally doesn't end well for the godless. What do? Everyone else has kind of run away from us. All of the civilians, yes. Now you're being run up on by two. Like, if I was using a voice changer, I would sound like... Like... Like this. I actually don't know what their sounds like right now, but like, I imagine your sounds very different from how I normally sound. It'd be really funny if like, someone's like, Hey, turn off the voice changer, I just turned this on. Yeah. Yeah, this one's supposed to emulate an actual female voice, so... Oh god, I just turned on the hear yourself. That sounds so full oh, fucking bad. Oh my god. This thing, and I, I just, I literally can't talk about it. I, I just, oh! Like, you know the frustration. Like, you were there for most of it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was here. Just came back and, whoa, mama? What do you mean, whoa, mama? Is my wife. She's normal size wife. By eight foot. By eight foot. You. You go into the. You go in. You go into the hospital. You go into the fucking clinic. And the fucking. The doctor walks out. He's wearing a fucking turtle hermit G. G or whatever. And he's just like. Your gender dysphoria looks pretty strong. Let me fight it as he pulls on his fucking gloves. I, I like the gun simulation, but like, sometimes it is a little finicky, but I imagine that's the intent. Not every gun can be an AK-47, so easy a child could use it, and many do. Oh no, I pooped myself, oh no. Fucking sprint. Oh no, where's your bathroom? I pooped myself again. You can't stab the sun. Let's go! Magic! Foolish mortals quail before my sorcery! Quail, I say! Shit! You didn't see that. Un it was unseen for me, you didn't see it. So many things I could do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is mean! Oh, Bye. shit! Nothing, it's fine. <laughs> mm. You just need to be ready to punch somebody. Otherwise, no one will take you seriously enough when the time comes. <laughs> so, as you, as you move through the ballroom, <clears throat> The servant goblins and the uh, unseen servants, they don't seem to acknowledge you beyond as you go pa as you go past, one of them quickly like scuttles over to where you're like to where your feet have stepped and just starts like less politics, more gok. Thank you. My girl cock is yours for the taking, but you'll have to find it first. I left every cock I own in one piece. <laughs> and so, girl cock connoisseurs from all over the world set sail for one piece. 
<laughs> the treasure that would make their dreams come true. Yayo, yayo, dreaming, don't give it up, Luffy, dreaming, don't give it up, Zoro, dreaming, don't give it up, Nami, dreaming. <laughs> I think, I think if we want to talk about, like, if we want to talk about human ships, right? Fucking, um... Whoa! Why was he not moving at all? I think the server FPS might be a bit low. I guess... This is calm. <laughs> Spell. Y'all can hear hell yeah! Let's go! Movie night! Movie night, let's go! Clown girl, you're for the soul. No! No! I do not need to hear about Clown Girl Yuri! Fuck! No! Fuck, dude! Less politics, more gawk. Thank you. My girl cock is yours for the taking, but you'll have to find it first. I left every cock I own in one piece. And I could. I could. Is a Discord notification? Uh, fucking. Yeah, I, ah, fuck it, yeah, there's not a ton of lizard bases, but, like, fuck it, I could. Hang on, what the fuck? Guys, I might be playing as a villain. Guys, I might be playing as a villain. His wife is fake. Okay, so the clock stopped at fucking, uh, I don't know, that's like, well, like, fucking 10, 10. <laughs> Fascinating. Uh, why are you small? Explain your smallness. <laughs> ah! Bye -bye. Oh, I didn't turn my phone on. Oh no! Hello. Ah, I I was getting everything ah. else ready. I forgot to turn my phone on. Do I yeah. exist? I don't exist. Yeah, you should exist. Oh, I've still got the. Uh, why don't you exist? Why don't I exist? Why don't you exist? Why don't? I would, I would, I would really like if you existed. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I, I, um, I'm trying, I'm trying to find my reactive source. There you are. You're very okay. tiny in the vents again. Whoop. There we go. All right. So. Oh, I am tiny. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, oh. friends. Hi, everyone. Hi, Kadalbok. Hi, Karkat. Hi, Chad. Chad, it's been forever. Need to hang out again, fuck! Alright. So. Everybody. I have a thing to ask Lennon before we get started. Lennon. Oh, hell yeah, what's so, up? So, uh... Cam brought up a good point in your chat. Uh, that the mod what's is that? supposed to be the streamer's babysitter. Yeah. And so my immediate thought went to, uh, the mod's just having a leash. Oh, yeah? You want yours to be a harness or a choke chain? What are you into? Uh, uh, huh. Neither of those things. No, no thanks. Uh, I, I have, I have, uh, I have an eternity collar around here somewhere oh, and God. a set of cuffs, but I don't have anyone associated with them. Oh, damn. Uh. So, yeah, I don't know. No, that's more my style is like the pretty, the pretty things, not yeah. the... 
Yeah. Not the intense things. Yeah, I know. I've got, I've got, I've got some collars around here, but I need more. God. Like, I want to get, like, a custom collar made, like, a nice one. Like, like, one that you can wear every day and people won't look at you like it's a kink thing, you know, like those, those No, things. but that's, that's what mine is like. It's just a metal, it's just, yeah. with, like, one of the metal rings. Mm-hmm. And then same with the cuffs, so it's just, like, this, like, three-piece matching set, mm-hmm. but you can also tie somebody up to them. Nice. Or yeah, with I, them. I, I, yeah, I it's get, pretty great. I want to get myself uh, one of those, one of, like, just a nice, like, collar I can wear every day without people looking at it and going, oh, that's kink equipment. I'm like... Yeah. Yeah, but it's it's like, man, it's expensive, dog. Fuck. This is true. Yeah. Liv, what are we doing today? Right. Hello, everybody. So today, we're doing what we've been doing for the last three weeks, and we're going to be working on our TTRPG because D and D is cringe, and like, there's not enough good TTRPGs that do what we want. So, uh, on the docket I had for today was. Uh, coming up with a skill list and maybe some treats, and also coming up with a name, or at least brainstorming a name. Oh, that hell yeah, let's go. Yeah, so far, uh, Live and Linen's secret TTRPG, Shush, is... I mean, it doesn't exactly roll off the tongue. It's yeah. fun. It's fun and I like it, and I can imagine it being on, like, a hand-drawn zine instead of a, a, a TTRPG book. <laughs> yeah, that's the issue, but, like, I don't know. I mean, when you have that's stuff not, out yeah, there, yeah, like, that's not what it should be called. There, yeah, when you have some games out there with like banger names like "thirsty sword lesbians," I mean, come on, we gotta we gotta step our game up a little bit. We shouldn't. We should have an acronym. Yeah. Our 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 system name should be an acronym. Yeah. I don't have one. I don't yeah. have one. I'm gonna be honest. I yeah. I'm not witty yeah. right now. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What what's our system do? What's it for? What can we what well, what what's well, what's the a, premise? It's a it's a setting agnostic system that 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 encourages player freedom and sandbox design. That's my that's how I would describe it in an elevator pitch. Elevator pitch. So setting agnostic, kind of like a storytelling focus system. Yeah. We could probably just call it Storyteller. Uh, I don't know if I like that. Yeah. But, I mean, actually, I kind of do. Yeah. Like, a one-word name is punchy. I mean, fucking, like, I mean, shit. Like, Pathfinder, that's just a good-ass fucking name. Yeah. Like, a lot, most of the good, good TTRPGs have, like, a one-word <laughs> name. Is there a story- is there a t- tabletop co- game called Storyteller? Let me see. Storyteller TTRPG. I mean, there's a good chance. Wait, hang on. The storyteller system. The core rule set. Okay, so it is not the name of a system, but it is the internal name for White Wolf, for how White Wolf designs the um dar- the the World of Darkness games. So we might be safe. I feel like that might be if they have the storyteller system like copyrighted, then that's. Yeah. An issue because, like, we are making like a TTRPG rule yeah. set system. Yeah. Um. Oh no, they did actually publish it as a genericized version. God damn it! All right. God, storyteller would have been so fucking good as a fucking name. God damn it! Ronicler. Synonym. I'm I'm trying to like run through my head and like come up with something. Tail Tail Weaver. Wait. Maybe. Tail Weaver, but tail is spelt with an AI. I don't like Tail Weaver. I like like Lore Weaver. Lore Weaver. Something like that. Something that's I don't like tail for some reason. Okay, but what if I, we made it a pun? Because I have a tail. Oh, you do. Yeah. Is that is is that a setting agnostic pun? No, but it's a funny pun. A little bit. It's okay. Oh, okay. Call, call it tail weaver, and we incorporate my tail and like your ears or something into the into the design of the logo. That way it works. I don't know. Lore Weaver, Tail Weaver. I don't know. Uh, no, I don't like any of that. 
I've changed my mind. Um, what kind of feel do we want? Do we want it to be like fun and punchy, or do we want it to be like serious, or do we want it I to mean, be like we've made it so the combat is fast and deadly, but also the customization is at the point where I think you could do something that this fun and punch. Because I don't want it to be like Uber. I don't want them to be like uber serious. Yeah, our feats are called treats. Yeah, so it's not like so it's it's got fast and potentially deadly combat, but also it's kind of got a bit of whimsy to it. Okay, write something so, down for me. Mm -hmm. No, and you, Lennon, you can type. You have. I know, but uh, just hear me out. Hear okay. me out. Let me let me do this. Uh, okay. Let's write down some words because, like, so far I, I'm thinking on what we said because it's system agnostic storytelling. Man. What else were the words you said? Um, uh, like uh, system agnostic. What was the other word you said? Storytelling. Uh, sandbox. Or setting agnostic, not system agnostic. Um. What other what other things describe our thing? Uh, creatively driven, I guess. Because while we are going to provide like archetypes and like pre-made classes, mm -hmm. like those are not going to be those are going to be the those aren't going to be like you know we're, like basically the system is going to encourage you to do things other than those make up your own thing. Yeah, I, hold I, on. Is there a different how how to hold on? What word are you looking for? I have an idea. Mm -hmm. Something for creative. Because I feel like I can use these words for something, but creatively different doesn't feel right. Hmm. Um, what what is a TTRPG? Like, what is what is a what is a? I need a different word. I need a different word that uh, essentially means like TTRPG rule set, but preferably starting with a C. I have a stupid idea, but I need it to work before I tell you what it is. I can't think of a word because I don't know what you're thinking of. Yeah. Um... Give me a second. I'm going to look at things. I'm going to find words. A mineral RPG? Uh, no, I don't. I no. Putting the word RPG in your title is not a good idea. No, opinion. but that could be that could be good. Hold on. Setting agnostic storytelling sandbox communal RPG. That works because we can make it say sassy RPG. S A S S capital C RPG. Hang on, how? What's what, hang on again? One more time. S A S S S A S S dash capital C RPG. Okay, okay, so in order, what are the what are the what do the letters mean? Setting agnostic storytelling sandbox uh fucking communal RPG. So the, the the sassy RPG has to be part of it. But we I don't know if sassy has to have RPG on it. I don't think it does. I think I think we could 
I mean, I the, the way I would I would see it, right? Okay, hang on. Let me let me use my. I feel my like sassy sassy feels fun because we have treats as our thing. Yeah, hang on. Let me let me have my 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 brain here for a moment. Um. Yeah, what's chat say about this? Nothing. Okay. Chat hasn't had. You a guys are helpful. For a second. Chat hasn't had a. Oh, it's it's, it's it, like yeah. not caught up to stream delay probably. Yeah, anyway. that that or they're trying to wait for us to. Cover. Okay, so pretend this is a book cover. I know it's too narrow, but like. I'm imagining like the title, the 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 front thing, right? It goes, it like yeah. it would go like pretend like this is actually like a proper like design. Yeah. And then underneath it would say, uh, the whole spiel, yeah. The whole spiel, like underneath here, like you know how like yeah. the cover of the old of the first Fallout game looked, right? Uh, here I I think I have an idea that I I like what you're doing. I like what you're thinking. We don't need to make a book cover right now because no, that's no, insane, no, no, but... no, 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 no. I'm just saying, like my 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 my, my brain is doing right. No, I I know. I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna play with I'm gonna play with the space you're in. Um, yeah. My 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 brain is doing. My brain is giving me this, but like you know, instead of it being a guy in power armor, it's you know, maybe like a conglomeration oh. of like fantasy sci-fi, like you know. Oh, there things. should be there should be like a knight. And like like a, a fantasy character, and then like a sci-fi guy, and then like a space marine. Yeah, like maybe like they're just standing in like a like a delta shape. They got like a knight in front, and then you have like uh, like behind him you have a guy from fantasy and a guy from like modern times. So maybe yeah. like a like so it, like it so like you have or may, like or would the knight be maybe the knight shouldn't be in the front. Maybe it should be like a modern no. guy in the front. Oh, that could be fine, yeah. Yeah, like a, like uh, a noir. Did I share and, the and, correct and... thing with you? I'm sure what? Did I share the correct thing with you? It should be a... Uh, I don't see it. Oh, yeah, I see it, I see it, I see it. Okay. Yeah, so um... it's like, like, like maybe like a noir detective in front, and then behind him is like a knight and then a space marine. That could be fun. Okay, so well, here's what I'm thinking. Personally is prefer a war crime simulator. <laughs> oh, war crime simulator sounds great. So I'm imagining like a book. You know how books have that like stupid fake binding strip yeah, sometimes yeah, 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 yeah. on the side. I I'm imagining the words. Uh, I hate that. Well, I don't have to draw good. Uh, the words that make up what the actual system name is. Yeah, is on the um, side. Is on this side in the strip, and then it's just fast. Okay, and then you have whatever we have for I imagery. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I, I wasn't our, trying. Our, like, I wasn't trying to describe a, a a book right here. Just, but like, yeah. And then like a yeah. big space marine guy over here with like a gun. And then like a noir detective or like a knight or something. Basically, we just squeeze like as many like different like looking characters. Yeah, yeah. like a cyberpunk guy with like. I don't, yeah. know, I don't know why I gave him. Yeah, we just put in a bunch of bullshit. No. Yeah. Like and maybe... then just like a big monster in the back, like a T Rex yeah. or something. Yeah, like fucking. Ah, uh, Lynn, you ever see that lineup of all the Marvel heroes standing next to each other? I had that poster. Yes. Yes, that poster. War Crime Simulator? You mean RimWorld? Yes. Yeah, like I know, like we're 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 nowhere near done even designing book covers, but that would be, I honestly, be cool. Just like this. Is that like, you just have like a legion of like heroes of all like different like types and eras and like just make it diverse as fuck, you know? Yeah. Because like, I feel like this is very much camera. a working title. Yeah. I do like, like I like it. it. I like it, but I don't know if I've fallen in love with it yet. It might yeah. be one of those things that like it latches on like treats did. Hmm. Um I do might... I do also still really like Tail Weaver. See, Linden, we've kind of gone, like, two opposite directions, like, than what we usually go. Tailweaver feels more fantasy. Sassy yeah. feels more cyberpunk. And usually we go opposite directions. Yeah. You're advocating for the more sci-fi one, and I'm advocating for the more fantasy one. Yeah, that's true. Uh, that's kind of funny. I like both. <laughs> yeah. I do like both. No, Tailweaver's growing on me. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe, maybe like, maybe we'll just keep them both, and then like, 
uh, when we reach the end, we can like maybe hold like a like a poll or something. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what the feel like is. Both. Yeah. Like sassy is definitely a, li a little bit more like that's gonna stand. It's out. a little yeah, but it's a little silly, so people might not take it seriously and try mm. it. Like somebody looking for an alternative to D and D might not pick up something called sassy. But then again, people still picked up um, thirsty sword lesbians. That's true. Like, but is our I... system sassy? We'll have to see, I guess. Yeah, I mean, with traits though, as the thing, it feels a little bit. Yeah. I mean, okay. like we're, we're we're we were kind of at a point where it's like we're kind of like at an in between where like portions of our system feel very very whimsical, and but then you have the combat where the combat is like right this is like very very like very very quick very very snappy and like if you go if you run out of combat endurance you could die at any time or at least like yeah. go unconscious at any time which on its face feels like it's a bit more gritty but I think the combat endurance does help that a little bit. Yeah. I agree with that assessment. Yeah, so I don't think I don't think it's like a super gritty system, but you could use it to run a gritty system. Which is ideal for what we want to do. Yeah. Yeah, um, no, I like that. Yeah. We still yeah, like we like I mean Oh, we never did an armor an armor creation system, but I think we're going to have to just do that when we get to like Oh, well, once we get numbers, because it's like... Once we get numbers, yeah. Because, like... Yeah. Yeah. And also, like, I don't know armor, how to do that otherwise. I mean, also, like, yeah, like, because, like, also we have to figure out, like, do you have armor types where the ar armor type dictates how much stopping power it has, or do you have the full customization, like, with weapons? Because that might be too much. Then again, you could also make I... customized armor that is like, I'm going to take a penalty to the stopping power to grant myself fire resist. I think that we should have it something like... Something like how we have weapons where there's like the light, medium, heavy type thing. And have light, medium, heavy, and then customize from there. Customize would be stuff like... Uh, I... Stealth. Yeah. Like Maybe. doesn't impose like like doesn't impose penalty to stealth type Lin thing. Linen concept. Yes. So when you have armor, right? Yeah. Uh, the lighter your armor, the more modification slots you have. Yes. So light armor has three modification slots. Heavy medium armor has two. Heavy has one, and super heavy has none. The okay. idea being that, like, if you take a very, very light armor, you can have a lot more extra bells and whistles, like fire resist and stealth and other stuff like that. And then super heavy armor, you can't customize at all. It is a, you are wearing a 40k dreadnought. So what does armor do? It's stopping power. Basically, it's... What does how, stopping power do? How much, so, okay, so when you take damage, the damage mm -hmm. that the bullet does, or ammo, or, or, or arrow, or sword, or whatever, is... Subtracted. Oh, so it's a direct. Yeah, right. We we've done this. We've yes, established we this. It's a direct reduction of the damage amount. Yeah, you have a damage threshold. You need to exceed yeah, that each threshold time it... to do damage. Yes. Yeah. It's it's like an AC. Yeah, I yeah. It's like it's like, like like it's like an AC put on damage instead of a to hit, which I like a lot more. Yeah, I like and that also, too. And also, we made it so that like attack rolls are contested rolls, which I think works a lot better because. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, no, I, I like that. I really don't like the in in D and D and Pathfinder where it's like, all right, so uh, this person is wearing a uh, chainmail. Uh, you need to roll a fifteen or above to hit him at each time. It's like, okay, but like, is he's just standing there taking it? There's no like dodging. There's no finesse here. Like, I like the idea of whether you attack See, like, hits or not. If you have, contested. if you're like a big tanky guy, you could. If you have enough like damage, like if you have enough armor and natural armor, hmm. you yeah. could just stand there and take it rather than even contesting it. You that's, could just be like, I decline to roll because I won't take damage. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's what I, I love. That's, that. that's actually what I'm talking about. No, that's like, great. Someone I love who's it. someone who's really light, lightly armored would probably take a lot more points into their evasion skill. Someone who's entirely based on heavy armor or has like heavy natural armor would be like, no, I'm not gonna roll. Yeah, fuck it, you hit. Try and get through my damage threshold, idiot. <laughs> yeah, and we uh, did this, and, we and did then they get cocky. Yeah, 
we did establish that there is an um there is an encumbrance value as well so the heavier your armor the more penalties you have to your evasion in the first place Liv, i want to play our game me too but we need to finish it yeah we need to get it far enough that like i feel like we don't need to get the numbers done I feel like what we can do is start, like, like we don't need all the numbers done. We need enough numbers that we can start, like, throwing things around. Mm -hmm. But I feel like there's an extent where we can start just, like, experimenting and putting numbers in willy-nilly just with, like, a party. Yeah. And then seeing how it pans out and adjust on the fly. Yeah. Yeah, so Phoenix, Phoenix has a good point. And D&D, it's like, what do you mean I miss? He's a, he's a giant. Exactly. That's the shit we're trying to, like, I'm trying to fucking stop. It's like... Yeah. It's like, yeah, no, this guy's not, this guy is, is where is like six tons of fucking steel. He's not dodging a bullet. Like, like, I imagine if someone has a, I'm going to be honest, I, I think like an, a fun thing for super heavy is it's got damage threshold. It's like ridiculous, but like mm -hmm. it, the armor penalty is you can't maybe like each level, each like size of armor up after light reduces your, um, evasion. It, yeah, but yeah, so like remember we mentioned how our skills are untrained, trained, et cetera, et cetera. Uh -huh. So we have uh is it four four levels of training? I'm scrolling yeah. down to find it. Yeah, I think so. I think there was one where you wanted to like put Grandmaster for something. Yeah, and that was gonna be a treat. Yeah. Yeah. I can't find our skills. Am I dumb? Uh I should open the, the goddamn thing. Oh, found it, found it, found it, found it. Yeah, oh, we hell yeah. Untrained, trained, uh, expert, master, and grandmaster. Oh, no, that, that rocks. I love it. Yeah. So that's four levels of training. Yeah, because untrained isn't technically a level. Yeah. So maybe we make it so that every level of armor you have, like every, every like type, sorry, not level of armor, every uh, class of armor you go up, the encumbrance value is it reduces your evasion skill by one training level. So, like, Ooh. if you're a grandmaster in evasion, right, and you put on, um, and you put on uh, medium armor, then you're going down to master. If you put on heavy armor, you're going to expert. And if you put on super heavy, you're going down to, uh, you're, you're going down to trained or tra untrained or trained. Yeah, that sounds good. Um... Yeah. And it would also mean that, like, if you, even if you are wearing armor, it's still worth putting treats into it, improving your evasion because then you could yeah. still dodge while wearing armor i think light armor should have no penalty that's what i said oh i'm sorry yeah every, uh, every but every i think there should be afterwards sorry. i think there should be treats that affect how effective armor is plain like like if if the bonus for armor is like a damage threshold of two there should be a treat that makes armor worth double I don't think double. I think we should no, make, like, yeah, a exactly. number. Yeah, like. Yeah, like a plus two or plus what, like plus one or whatever it is. Yeah. Speaking of, um, um, sorry. Go ahead. But I think that might be necessary to like, because it sounds fun to have somebody who's just like, like you can flavor it however you want. You could be like, oh, I wear light armor and I have like the armor treat, but that doesn't mean my light armor is better. It means I'm more evasive. Yeah, so that kind of thing. Yeah, or or like I it could just be called like armored evasion and be like a a thing that like yeah, reduces like, the penalty from yeah, armor. Like you've trained you've trained to uh like move in armor. Like that is a real thing that people can do, yeah. But like Yeah. something that like okay, like for example, right? Um Veronica is X uh X Air Force and she still has her fatigues, right? And they're heavy. <sighs> They're extremely... Sorry, what? Who, who, who has what? Uh, Veronica still has her Air Force fatigues. And they're heavy. Oh. Yeah? Yeah, like, like I, I picked up the shirt, and it was like, what the fuck? How are you wearing? It's like Goku's weighted training. And, oh. like, and she's put them on a couple of times, like, just to like, kind of show me them. And it's like, she's, she, she moves like fucking as if she's you know, wearing a fucking tank top. Wild. Yeah, like, um... it's fucking wild. When I was doing stuff with the SCA, mm -hmm. which is like a historical LARPing, essentially, 
Yeah. Um, Hang on, Lenny. I had I, a... I, I, need to, I need to give my boyfriend his hoodie back because I stole it. Give me a second. Okay. Okay. I know. I know. It's cold out. Fine. It's cold in here. That's why I'm wearing it. Yeah, no. It should be... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right. There you go. So... I'll wait till okay, Liv is, is return. Uh, putting my headphones Hello? back on. Love you. Hello. All right. Yeah, and I, I mean, I'm not going to be able to put it back on because I have to put this doll collar back on. Shut the fuck up. Oh, my God. Sorry. Hello. Hello. Sorry, Lennon. What was I saying? Uh, about, uh, movement. Oh, I, uh, I had a Plague Doctor's outfit. Yeah. Thank you um, and it was, anything. like, a historically accurately made, so it was, like, this heavy... Like a, a very heavy material. Mm -hmm. I can't remember exactly. It was. It's like a cotton based. Like it's a heavier cotton based. Like not wool, but like like you know like a wool like a the density of like a wool jacket. Yeah. It's like that, but cottony. Oh, I see. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Um. But I had that, and I had the fun mask and everything, but boy, howdy, was that fucking heavy. Mm. Just very heavy. I have not added anything new to that. Yeah, yeah no, that's fine. Um, okay, but yeah, so that actually does bring me to something that I, we did we talk, say we wanted to talk about. Um, it could be linen. That'd it could be, be linen. Linen could be wearing... The linen goblin wears a cloak of linen. Is the... Is she made of cloth, or is the cloak made of flesh? She screams, for she does not know. Canvas? It was not canvas. I would have recognized canvas. I had, uh, I had another outfit made out of mm. waxed canvas. Yeah, so there is something that we talked about that we wanted to figure out that I actually do have opinions on. I think we need to set up before we actually get, like, rolling. Oh, so, hell yeah. Uh, you talked about, like, what we want treats to be, and yeah, I have opinions. how do we want to do this? Okay, so, I'm willing to hear out your opinions. So we assert and then reject them and scream at the world for not being how I want it to be. No, I'm joking. Yeah. Uh, you're fine. Yeah, I will hear out your opinions. All right. So, uh, my idea for treats is so we've got the idea of like as you as you play the game, the DM gives out treat points instead of XP, right? Yes. Like with the intention of it being like you don't get you get like maybe like one or two treat points of a, a session right that's like my yeah, understanding I, ooh, I like that i like that yeah uh one or like i, yeah. I like it being like like a consistent like every session you get a little new thing or you can save them up and get bigger new things yeah. it's something that i like about um that i like about cyberpunk 2020 once again, I know I'm bringing for Cyberpunk 2020. I'm sorry, but in Cyberpunk 2020, they had a they have a system called improvement points, and yeah. as you play, the DM has to take note of what you're doing, and at the end of the session, the DM hands out improvement points based this on. This is how. like the Star Trek RPG. Is it? Well, let me finish. Yeah. Let me finish. Hands out improvement okay. points based on what you did. Um, the difference is in, in Cyberpunk 2020, it's like, hey, you did really good with hacking. Here's improvement points for your hacking and stuff like that. And different people get different amounts depending on how they engage with the story and how the deal. But that leads to favoritism, and that's not great. So most people just kind of like, you know, flatten the IP points in that one. And you yeah. save up your IP points to like make your skill better or whatever. It's basically like an, ex like, like, a, like an oblivion where you get XP for using a skill. I'm thinking that we do something similar where flat... Yeah, you get one IP point. You get one IP. You get one treat point for showing up, right? Yeah. But if you do, but like, there's like a thing in there was like, if the DM, if you do something that's impressive, you use a skill in a way that was, you know, not intended, or you do something that was like really impressive, like et cetera. Like we put in like things for like, hey, if people like impress you and or do something that's really cool, or you're just feeling generous, like you can give them like maybe two or three. I don't think like, people should go above three treat points though, at like in one session. I, I like that idea. Mm -hmm. I No, I like that idea. Mm -hmm. I, I like the idea that like each session you get a point. Yeah. Like for sitting down at the table and playing, you get a point for each session. You get it at the end of the session, I would say. Yes, at the end of the session. And then if you if um, you've impressed the DM, you might get like extra, but no more than three. 
I I like I like that. Like if you do something impressive, you get I I like the idea that you can get an extra point per session. Mm -hmm. If you're like like the DM decides at the end of the session if you did something cool and like get an extra point. Yeah. Um. But I like what I like for the third one because like I do like there being like up to three. Yeah. It should just be like a matter of like did the party succeed at what they were doing that session. Like, in just a vague sense. Like, and this can just be, like, a rule of thumb thing. Like, this doesn't have to be how everyone plays it. Yeah. But if like we're a, writing if the book and just like saying, DM, here's the rule of thumb. Yeah. Point for showing up. Point for succeeding. Point for being spectacular. Yeah. And, like, and maybe have And then the... if they want to change, if the DM wants to play it differently and, like, yeah. have a different method of it, they can, but... I, I think the wording would be... I'm just going to... Oh, wait, no, I literally put this here, Lennon. What's it say? As you play, your DM assigns you treat points for completing quests slash missions, defeating enemies, or being a good boy slash girl. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah. That, that's basically, we, we already figured this out, and fuck, I didn't even realize it. Put the words showing up, then comma, completing quests. Yeah. But we just need, like, a, a, a thing saying the maximum of three per session. A minimum of one and maximum of three per session. I mean... This means you'd get really powerful quickly unless we really balance out the, uh... Unless it's meant to be, like, shorter campaigns. I mean, that or we just make treats cost more for, like, the really powerful ones. I think that's a good plan, too. Yeah. Like, I feel like the early sessions, you should be able to walk away with, like, one new, like, neat thing you can do each session. Yeah. But, like, then, once like, you're at, like, you session get... five, being like, oh, it's going to be, like, three sessions before I get a new thing. Yeah. Like, like the first few sessions are taking your, like, you know, getting you up from untrained to trained and skills you didn't pick up when you first did character creation. Or maybe boosting yourself up to expert by, like, like by saving your, saving your points for a few sessions. You know how most DMs, or at least most DMs I've been with, like, mm -hmm. will, like, power level you essentially through, like, one to three in the first, like, yeah. month of a campaign? Yeah, that's what this is. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. like, the, the low, like, the low, like, one to three point treats, they're nothing super impressive. They're all stuff is like, hey, increase a skill by this amount, gain proficiency with this weapon, like, shit like that, you know? Like, stuff that basically, like, if you had a little more points in character creation, you could have got, but, like, you didn't quite have yeah. enough. Yeah, exactly. That sounds good. So, right, so what I'm, so what I'm proposing for treats, outside of, like, the points thing, um... I feel like treats should be passives for the most part until you get to like 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 the really big like end game ones. I'm talking ones that cost like I don't know like 50 points. Like just throw a number out yeah. there that's big. So like so like you get like you get like uh you know you have like your basic ones that are like oh skill up, like weapon new be able to use a new weapon, uh, etc. and they're all passive. And then you get like the mid-tier ones that are that, like, maybe let you use an, an existing ability in a way that, like, is... So, like, for example, um, did I put it here? Uh, no. Uh, there, I, I meant to put it in, but, like, I got, um, uh, Mally, like, in, like, kind of inspired this one. I'm gonna just type it up, and I'll, then you could read oh, it. Oh, right. The, um, Nose no, for Trouble? Nose for Trouble. You can use... Hell yeah. Instead of your arcane skill... You can use your uh, perception, sense of smell, to detect magical and cursed objects. So this would be like a specifically fantasy thing. But like, we would have, we would have some treats that are like, okay, this doesn't really work in a pure science fiction thing. But like, that's fine. We're going to have stuff like that. That's just the, the nature of it. Yeah. So, like, I would say that, like, skill tree, like, the first one to get you up to, like, untrained? Hang on, I, I, I need to replace this word in here because we've actually added a new level. Uh, Grandmaster. Cannot be taken if Jack of All Trades has been taken. Um...
Yeah. So, like, yeah, so, like, the casting stat tree, like, the first one you take is probably, like, only, like, one point, and then maybe, like, if you'd want to take, like, other ones for some reason, like, if you, like, for some reason, like, wanted to have multiple stats as your casting stat, which doesn't really make sense. I guess, like, outside of, like, a roleplay thing. Um, you know, like, that would just, like, the more, the more often you take it, the, like, the higher it gets. Like, Jack of All Trades being, like, really, really powerful would probably be, like, maybe not, like, a 50, 50 treat point one, but, like, maybe, like, 20, maybe 30, 25, if you want to just go straight half. Like, the damage treat would probably start, like, at, like, 5, you know? Yeah, that's fair. Like, like... It, yeah, you need you need to play like a ma- like like a a maximum of like five sessions, assuming you only get one point each session. Like, which let's be honest, you're not really going yeah. to in order to boost your damage dice from d4s to d6s, and then every additional dice level like raises it up and up and up and up and up until you get to like d the d12 one is probably like somewhere in like the mid 30s for like treat points. I feel like we're gonna have to like kind of look at, like, how long we, like, if we assume, okay, assume somebody, and this is really generous, Mm -hmm. assume somebody, um, sorry, are you getting the background noise from me? No, no, I'm not. Okay, good, good. Um, assume somebody plays, uh, with their group every week for a year. Yes. That's 52, that's 52 sessions. 52 sessions, and they're getting a minimum of one point and a maximum of three points. So that's a maximum of 150 points. Yeah, enough for them to get... Yeah, and and if they were to only buy top-tier skills, that's three top-tier, you gain a new ability skills. But there's no way they're going to last until... There's no way they're going to make it... 52 sessions without taking an, uh, yeah, with, you have with a point. saving up those skills. Once, yeah. yeah once, so once maybe it, 50 yeah. is too high, maybe but 50 we'll is have too to high. like yeah. flesh out. Yeah. We'll have to flesh out those things. I it'd be th- cool to like in a year's campaign and like not even like every week. I think like, like a year campaign, if some, if somebody's like every two weeks, what? I think you should end with like maybe three big like powers I... if you want to. I disagree because I want because like something that I think is really really fun is mm-hmm. players being in a campaign they get their first 50 pointer and it's a game changer for mm-hmm. them and I want that moment to be special every time and I want it to be an agonizing decision like oh no which one do I take you know yeah, but if you're playing for a year, I feel like you want that more than once in a year's campaign to feel like it's really. I get, yeah, like fifty is probably maybe a bit... twice, like maybe yeah. twice. Maybe maybe we bring maybe we make the maximum thirty because then like you know that's ten sessions of exceeding play. Yeah, yeah. So like, if you play your absolute goddamn heart out for ten weeks in a row, there you go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think there should also be just like a like a DM's note. Like this doesn't have to be like a proper in the rules thing. Mm-hmm. But like, if we have a blurb about like running the game somewhere, yeah, we should just make a note that like the DM can like just give out specific treats. Yeah, make it so like because like... it'd be cool. It would be cool if you're playing and like you survive like an onslaught of. Uh, some like horde of enemies yeah maybe we make that like another way to get treats is like if you do something that's super super impressive the dm wants to give you a treat for it because yeah. that's also something in pathfinder actually um there's there's feats in pathfinder that um don't really make sense unless they're given to you by a dm like say becoming a vampire that's a feat becoming a revenant a zombie stuff like that like those are feats that you can take yeah. but like they realistically are more likely going to be given to you by the DM. Yeah. No, yeah. I like that. Yeah. Like, be- like, becoming a vampire here, like, for example, would be a treat, but, like, the note would be, like, maybe we make it, like, so it's, like, really expensive for what it does, and then the note mm-hmm. on it is, like, 
like hey dms like if one of your players gets like bit by a vampire and turned give them this feat or that if I... the player really wants to save up for it they they can but like you got to work it into the story somehow can i voice an idea yes you may and this isn't just me being a little bit picky um if we had like a treat that said you become a vampire essentially yeah and like like I don't know what the name was, like vampiric something. Um, Embrace of the night. Something like that. Um, what I would like to do with the treats mm -hmm. is not have the main gist of it be like, you are now a vampire and you have these like pros and cons as a vampire. Mm -hmm. I would like it to be more like, like even if the name is like Embrace of the Night, I want it what it says like for it, the mechanical part of it to just be like, whatever benefit or negative you get from being a vampire and then we have a note being like this treat like this treat represents like using like in context of like a vampire or like a similar creature yeah. like I, I like we'll figure out how to word it and make it work right but i yeah. i do want like the descriptions of the treats to be like the mechanical descriptions of the treats to be setting agnostic we yeah. can in those treats have like the description like a like a, a flavor description saying like oh here's a vampiric thing as a like as an example i have an idea like right in with the treat but i want just the mechanical just the mechanical part of it to be separate from the flavor i have an idea okay go ahead and also the uh, cadelva got a good idea having having some dm only treats for them to hand out oh that would be fun vampirism might be a fun thing like that and you know what yeah uh, I have a concept for a third one that would be, would actually be kind of interesting, but like, no, I can go on retreats. Okay, so I'm just going to type this out. So, uh... Uh, yeah like so like that oh. but then I like the idea of a cursed treat that gives you taint points to spend oh okay so the vampire itself doesn't maybe gives you like maybe like a couple of boons but like Hang on, let me let me uh let me let me cook for a second. Strength, constitution, uh, and uh, cur hang on, cunning and charisma. Uh, so, like, just as example, these would be, like, the taints you would take. So, you gain, is, yeah, so, you've been transformed into a blood-sucking creature of the night, such as a vampire, a chupacabra, or a zhangxi. Uh, you gain a plus one to your strength, constitution, cunning, and charisma, but gain the following taints. Sunlight sensitivity deadly, garlic weakness, and aversion to hallowed deadly. So, these would be taints that would pre-exist, and people could just take them normally, right? Yeah. And yeah, you would, I like and it. then you would get the 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 treat points as if you had taken those taints. Yeah. But you can only Live. spend the. Sorry, yeah. go ahead. I have a really, I have a stupid idea, but go yeah. ahead. Finish, finish, finish what you're saying. I'm but, sorry. But those taint points that you get, you can okay. only spend them on uh treats that have the uh embrace of the night 
uh, prerequisite. So basically, you get to pick and choose your vampire powers. Customize your vampire. So if you want to be a Zhangxi, you can give yourself traits that represent a Zhangxi. If you want to be a vampire, pick one to pick a vampire. If you want to be a chupacabra, be one that, like, you know... You, you know what I mean? I feel like that might be, like, a setting-specific bit. Yeah, but we could come up with, like, we could basically go through, like, every single, like... No, we like... could. We, we could. We could. We absolutely could. I just feel like, like, having a specific, like, monsters thing might be, like, a, a side, like, like not the main book, but, like, a side uh, expansion. I... Well, well no, Lennon, like, what I'm, what I'm saying here is, that, like... I just I, think... I, I'm just saying, like, like, like... For the main system, like, that seems like... If we're going to make one for vampires, we're going to need one for werewolves. We're going to need one am, for this. We're going to yeah, need one for am, that kind of thing. I am totally fine with doing that myself, Lennon. Yeah, but I, I'm I, just saying if we're doing a whole set of different ones, that feels setting specific rather than agnostic. Well, like no, we can do well, we, that. I'm just saying well, that sounds like it's it's a module rather than the main I, thing. I don't think so, because like these types of monsters like uh, uh, like, uh, like, like, were beasts, vampires, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, they exist in every culture. No, they do. But I think I just think that the way that we're building the system so far doesn't focus on like having these like specific existing things. Like, I know that we're going to have like pre-made creatures and pre-made like things. But I don't feel like the system's hang concept on. is hang on a sec, supposed Lennon. to have... Hang on a second. Okay. Zeno, don't put toasters in water. Treat for turning up, treat for extraordinary skill, treat for... Um, extraordinary, uh, extraordinary heroism treat for second. Essentially, that. Lennon, there has been a uh, kitchen accident. I'm going to go and help fix it because Chris just got burning cheese dropped all over himself. Oh, okay. Is yeah. this a is this a abandoned ship and come no, back? I don't time think. Thing? So. I do not think so. This is a uh, hang tight for like maybe like five ten minutes. Okay, do you want to go to be right back? Yeah, I'm going to go to be right back. Okay. See you guys. Do you think she's... A handicap too? Yeah, I know, but I, mine lets me do wheelies. Mine lets me do wheelies. Does yours let you do wheelies? Hmm. Hmm. Just saying. Just saying. And I could. I could. Oh, there's a Discord notification. Uh, fucking. Yeah, I. Ah, uh, fuck it. Yeah, there's not a ton of lizard bases, but like. Fucking, I could. Just give me a left trigger to fucking click things. I... I'm sorry. Y'all saw that, right? Y'all saw that, right? Yeah. He just fucking, like, just leaps over it like that. that that's not even animation on that. Bruh. Hang on, what the fuck? Guys, I might be playing as a villain. Guys, I might be playing as a villain. His wife is fake. Okay, so the clock stopped at fucking, uh... I don't know, let's say, well, like, fucking ten... Ten... I'm getting all up inside her guts. Hmm. Oh, Shodan, you're so tight. I have to crawl to get around in there. 
No, no, brain, no, no, that's illegal, brain, not Because Pank lied to you, again. Man, I, I love it, I love it, you know, I love it when a non-binary non hoe lies to me, I love that. Fuck. God is dead. Isn't that charming? That's horrifying. Joke about cops shooting your dog. That that yeah. comes more from the ATF than actual police. What is the ATF? Uh, the the, uh, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. Yeah, they're the people that say that whether people get to have fun or not with firearms.
Well, anything can have his voice. Yeah, I, I, I remember someone said that you should that the mod should be edited so that way only certain monsters can use it. Yeah. But right now we have it. Hey, it's so me, Goku. Ah! Jesus. <gasps> They originally was was Ada and Evan. God looked upon them and said, Whoa, gender dysphoria be upon ye as a test. And so they began their transition to become Adam and Eve, the world's first T4T couple. And it was good. And then the devil came down and tempted and tempted Eve with the apple of the apple of, of sissitude. Upon consuming the apple, Eve became a cis woman. Her dysphoria was gone alongside her test from God, but God had planned, God had planned to reward them if they had completed their transition. Eve took the easy route and therefore damned humanity, becoming the first cis woman. <laughs> Because big, the big Betty owns a bunch of things. Most of you don't know about Betty Crocker. Fucking, you could fucking tell me that. Arm, arm, arm. Possessed by the devil. <laughs> you could fucking tell me that Betty Crocker owned the fucking owned the USS Iowa, and I believe you. <sighs> oh, they really didn't make these uh, Joy Cons in mind for people that have horrible fucking mutant spider hands. Huh. Why? Why is? Why are they racist against spiders? Put them together. Just fucking just. See, this is how I reproduce. I put my hands together and just <laughs> someone's face. Less politics, more gawk. Thank you. All right. Oh God, why is my face doing that? Why is your face doing that? I don't know what button I pressed. There you go. I pressed oh. three, I guess, by accident when I sat down. I, I, I'm gone. No, there you are. Oh, I was gone. Lennon, what if I press all of my buttons? I wouldn't recommend it. Bye. Like... Bye. Hold on, I have to... Ah! Bye. Ah! Bye. No! Bye. I don't like it. <laughs> Why would you choose to do this to us? <laughs> oh, because it was funny. Uh, alright, okay, so... Okay, so, uh... And YouTube puts on a second ad. <laughs> I'm a goober, you're a goober! Blah! Alright, so, um... Shit, right, okay, so, so my, my, my idea for, for vampires... Right? Uh, yeah. and then, like, other stuff. So, we could do, like, just a monster book, but also, like, I don't want to make it so that people need to be, like, buy, like, 17 books, you know? I would rather yeah. the books be, like, this is a specific setting. But, like, what vampire... if we have some, like, setting-specific stuff, like, in a different section of the book? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Like, but, like, I think, like, I think we should have, like, if, so if something is, like, generic enough that it could fit in, like, in a bunch of places, like mythological creatures, like you know, werewolves, vampires, ghosts, ghouls, stuff like that, like, mm -hmm. I think that should be something that is in the base book. And so, like, we'd have, like, just a list of monster treats, and they'd be treats that could either be given by the DM if you're turned into one, or you could just take, you know, like, you're like I want my character to be a vampire. All right, I'm taking the vampire the vampire cursage we could literally call them curse treats yeah i just don't think that it needs to literally be setting specific i think it, i'm not saying it is vampire. no but i think you don't even have to say this is a vampire i think you can just give people the treat that mechanically does vampire things leave a note saying this is what you'd use if you had a vampire but i don't think we have to make the things specific to being for monsters or for a specific thing but, like, there's some stuff that's, like, very, very weirdly specific, like drinking blood and stuff. 
I mean, why does that have to be specific? Okay. You don't even have to say blood. You just have to say that like you have the ability to drain life force from from living creatures. Maybe taking these cursed treats like grants you like okay, so maybe like the treats like do exist in a vacuum, but taking but like you get like you get them as a package like, deal when you take the cursed treat. Yeah, stuff like that. That's like yeah. and that's what I mean. It's like have that cursed treat be part of the like the setting specific stuff though. Like still have all these treats that make up the thing part of the core package, but have that recommendation of like here's a cursed treat that has all this together have that be a setting specific like this is if you're doing things that need monsters mm. but, it's still, you, in, but it's still in the core but it's still in the core book though the individual treats and and uh, the individual treats and taints that make up those packages would be part of the core rules okay it's just they'd be a little more abstracted than for like specifically a vampire like instead of like having one that's specifically garlic weakness we could have like uh something it could be like allergy dash garlic yeah do you know what i mean like, like yeah uh, yeah like well yeah like that would be what well, I means like how i've got here like sunlight sensitivity deadly exactly it, so I think we would have sensitivity is one that's like usable and generic enough that we can just straight up have that but like yeah instead of just straight up garlic weakness it could be like weakness garlic deadly yeah exactly yeah like that exactly yeah that works. And then that means we could have a treat or a taint that's just allergy. Yeah. And then you choose a thing and, like, how severe that allergy and the more is. And the more severe the allergy, the more uh, taint points, it the more treat points it gives you in exchange for the taint. Yeah. Yeah. That works. Okay, so... But yeah, so I, yeah, so I think, like, my uh, idea for tr for treats and taints is that, like, the high the, the super high tier treats like like 30 and like like it really like once it take you multiple sessions of work towards to get yeah give you like a, 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 a like an ability they actually give you something that you can do right okay but like anything below is either a passive or it's something that like allows you to use an existing thing in a new way Okay. I yeah, think I, I like think this. that is a very very good way to keep it balanced and make it so that you have people with their own archetypical identities without like, hey, why does he get to attack seven times in a row? You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 But be like, like I so like you and I are playing. I I am using guns, so I don't take the damage. I don't take the damage treat. But you're using sword, so you do. Um. But, like, I have to take recycling so I can um, actually, like, have some ammo on a dungeon crawl, whereas you don't really care for that. Basically, you know, like, you, you're, you're, you can build your archetype up from the disparate treats in a way that, like, depending on what you value as a player, there's not going to be any right way to do it. Yes. And yeah. then, like, once we get, like, maybe, like, five, ten sessions in, then it's, like... I get a treat that's called trick shot and I get to ricochet like one bullet to hit three people, for example, like just like, you know, pulling that out my ass and you get another one called, uh, I don't know, uh, annihilation stance and it allows you to roll, uh, triple damage on one attack or something. You know, like, it's like just pulling stuff out my ass on that one. Those w w wouldn't be real treats unless like we decide that. No, later. no, I, yeah. Yeah. But, like, you know, it, it would give you, like, a new ability that you can use. Yeah. Yeah. And I do think having those treats actually, like, give you a proper ability is I, good. I like but... when it's... I, I like this. I, I like what you mm -hmm. said with, like, like a ricochet-type thing. Mm -hmm. um, I like if it's a unique thing you can do, it not being, like, something that's... Uh, would make sense for anyone to be able to attempt to do. Mm -hmm. Like, if it's not just, like, a physical skill type thing. Yeah. Like, having a bullet ricochet more often is, like... Like, that seems like a weird power more than it's just, like, a thing that, like, anybody should be able to try to do. Well, yeah, Lennon... Like, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I don't... I, I Like, I just, in general, I don't want to lock something away... Uh, but behind a power that anyone should be able to attempt. I, Do you know what I mean? I know what you mean, and that's why I said that, like, that was just an example I pulled out my ass. 
Like the actual no, no, one. No, but I was saying that that's a good example. Oh, okay. I'm saying it's a good example as something that like somebody somebody just off the street wouldn't be able to just ricochet a bullet. That's like a unique like power yeah. type thing. Yeah, and like the annihilation stance in like in that example would also be something that would be like it is a specific stance that you have honed over years and fucking of of of, of practice and training in being a martial artist. It wouldn't be something yeah. you could grab someone off the street and do. Like these treats yeah. would be you are reaching like the pinnacle of that specific craft. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm fine that's... with this. I, I'm on board. Yeah, and those would and those and those would be specific that we'd have to write up and give, but like the flavor behind it would be free. Like maybe it's not a ricochet. Maybe you're doing like a maybe you mod maybe you're a tinkerer like as your archetype and like you've modified yeah. your gun to like maybe like slice a bullet in three, and do like a fan fire thing. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Like either okay. way, it's just like your master of the firearm allows for. Uh, allows for unorthodox, unorthodox shooting techniques. Uh, you may now hit three people with a fire, with 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 a with a single bullet attack, and the damage is modified some way, shape, or form. Um, and like then, like the you know the flavor text would be like, oh, for example, a ricochet, or you know, a splitting a bullet, or curving a bullet, like stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. I gotcha. Um. Okay, so we we have we have the idea for treats is that is that like they are passive until they're not. Yes. 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 And there's some. Yeah, treats I'm on. That you, I'm on board. And there's some treats that you can like take multiple times, so it gets more extensive each time, and that gets you better things, like the skill training ones. Yes. Right. Um. I'm also on board for prerequisite feats. Feats that you can kind of build towards I, by taking absolutely, other treats. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I feel like we'd be amiss if we didn't yeah. have that. Yeah. Like so but like yeah, it gives us like a horizontal progression thing. So short of just like writing out like a massive fucking treats list, let's instead go to the easier part, which is the skills. Because we already know how our skills work. We just now need to figure out you know what they are what they are so yeah lennon uh are you in the google no you're not you're not in the, you're not not. In the google doc so no nope. what i want to do what do you want to do i want us to like both of us come up with skills and put them in a list and then we'll go through like we did for the what we did for the uh for the attributes ones that we agree on they they go in ones that like are not on a list we make our case and we just you know okay yeah so i think the, there's few that we've like already basically confirmed um and that's like the three types of armor okay <clears throat> Uh, let me open this document yeah. finally. How do I do that? Uh, there should be a link. Yeah, why am I stupid? Did I not pin the link? I might not have pinned the link. I might be stupid. Oh, it's it's just I couldn't see the pins for some reason. Uh, I'm um. Okay, there we go. Yeah. So what skills do we need? So the ones that we've got confirmed, because we've mentioned them before, are light armor, medium armor, heavy armor, swords, firearms, archery, and spell casting. Are there any Let other ones that... Where you are. Okay, here. Yeah, I just put it at the bottom. Are there any other ones that we've, so, like, talked about that we should probably have? I have a question. Oh, wait, we need dodge. Sorry. Should armor be a specific thing, and then light, medium, heavy is defined by how much it does? Like, rather have than having a skill for each one? Oh, yeah, that's a fair point. Yeah, no, I don't know what I was thinking. You are correct, Lennon. You could just a... have one armor skill, yeah. Yeah. Now, what does the armor skill do? Wait, does the armor skill do anything? Like, we don't need a skill for armor. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. We also. Yeah. We. Yeah. I was. Armor's I was thinking. Just, I was thinking armor, of the. Armor I was just thinking does of this. What it does. Yeah. I. I was. I was thinking of the. Um, improve. Yeah. I was the. I was the thinking of getting better at armor so that you're. So it gives you less evasion penalty. But then I realized. Oh. Right. That's we, just we, we, a we, we, That's just a treat. Yeah. Yeah. So swords, firearms, archery, spell casting, dodge, and evasion. Are there any other skills that we've like mentioned offhand that we need? Uh, well, uh that's a good question. Oh, movement skill. Yeah, movement is a skill. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna grab the. I'm gonna grab the 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 skills uh. The skill levels and just put it down here. Is there not a way to like turn off what you appear as in these things? I don't know. I'm gonna turn off the thing. We'll see. Privacy. Okay, manage privacy. No, it doesn't have what I'm looking for. Okay. Mm. No, it's fine. Whatever. Really I, have a, I have a... Yeah, I have a name in, in Meet Space. That's fine. I'm sorry, Lennon. Uh, no, it's cool. Don't worry about it. All right. So movement, firearms, archery, spell casting, dodge evasion. Um, I feel like history is the thing. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna, I was gonna say lore, but yeah, that's. Uh... Oh, lore is a good one. Well, no, hi history slash lore. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Education. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we can just put that uh, yeah, on confirmed, yeah, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, another thing that we another thing we've mentioned is uh perception. And then like you have to declare a sense for it. But like I I think they can just say perception and then declare your sense. And then we've also got um an arcane skill. We've mentioned that before. Is that just spell casting? No, cuz it's identifying magic items. You don't need to be a spell cast or identify a magic item. I feel like we could streamline it by just making that part of. No, you're right. Ugh. Because then, because then, only wizards can look at like magic boots and be like, "Oh yes, boots of running, very good." You know, it's like, yeah, like like um... someone who's like in in like a world where there's like a lot of magic items. Like your average fighter's gonna be like, "Oh shit, are those boots of running, hell yeah, I've seen some of those before." And also, like, identifying curses and such. If you lock identifying magic items and curses, like, to just, like, the magic classes, any, cl any like, group that wants to run a non-magical party is going to kind of be boned. You know? I think we have to have the same discussion we just had for traits about skills. Okay. What do we want skills to specifically, like, do and be? Well... It should be like what your character is good at, and I'm fine. Well, of course, and I'm fine having a big skill list. Okay, that's what I was gonna ask. Is like, do we want like a fucking Call of Cthulhu ass skill list? I am very fine with having a Call of Cthulhu level skill list. And then like you just take like you just take the skills in things that you're yeah that you want. We make we make the skill list as broad as possible, so like. No one's going. So, not gonna so we're going to have really niche specific characters. That's fine with me. Yeah, that's kind of like what I wanted to do with the system anyway. Like, there's part of me that's like, what if we streamline everything and make it like really vague and then that? But it, it's also just like if we want people to be able to make characters that are unique to them, then yeah, the more ability to make them niche that we can well, give them, the better. 
Yeah, there's two ways to do it, though, because there's either do it the way where it's very, very vague and has minimal skills and we let people flavor things the way they want. But then that leads to somebody being like, oh, I want to flavor it that I'm like good at this thing. But indirectly, because there's not much specifics, yeah. I'm good at a ton of things related to that. Yeah. And that might not be what that person wants. Yeah. Plus, you can also run into a situation where it's like, oh, I'm playing a merchant. That means I'm good at identifying items. So I'm going to take points in the, uh, instead of arcane in this case, it'd probably be like called identification or something. And then like the wizard uh, is like, I'm also good at that, but for a completely different reason. And it's like, well, now I don't feel special. The wizard can just do hey, my job. Yep. Jack of all trades needs a limiter now. It does. Jack of all trades needs to be like a maximum of like five or six skills. But what if it isn't? What if it's 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 too powerful if it's for everything? What do we limit the amount of times it be used a day? Ooh, that's neat. Because because it runs off your adaptability, and your adaptability is adapting to new situations, right? Yeah. Okay, let's go. But like you, like let's be honest, you can only really like do that on the you can only MacGyver shit like so many times before you're just like, oh fuck, my brain. Like, maybe, like, limit of, like, like, how many, how many abilities could someone reasonably grandmaster during a campaign? Like, three, four? That's what I'm thinking, is, like, if those are, like, that's what I was saying before, is if those are, like, close to top tier ones. No. Yeah. Well, they wouldn't be top tier, they'd be, like, just below that, probably, for the, the skill yeah. level ones. Um, so, yeah. Maybe it Maybe Jack of all trades, um, you can only use it for, let's say, like, four abilities, four, four skill, sorry, four skill checks a day. I think we need to clarify something for the training levels. Yeah. What do you need to That they're not cumulative. Yeah. Because I'm just, sorry, sorry, that's completely aside. I was just staring at that. I'm like, the way that it reads is that, like, you're trained and then... Yeah. Like, as you go up, it's like, you get two, and then six, and then twelve, and then... Like, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. like we need to note that they're, they re training levels replace. Unless yeah, it's just plus two for each training level. Because that accumulates to the total. Yeah, that, yeah, that would be. Um... We'll figure out a better way to say it, like, when it's actually time. Yeah, that's fine. Sorry, I, I apologize for interrupting. You're fine. Yeah, but like maybe like we can make it so like Jack of all trades, you can only use it like maybe like five times a day. How many flux dice do you get? How many how many dice do you roll in a D and D session? That's true. So I mean if it's supposed to be like a thing that you take instead of taking grandmasters. Yeah. So But it's still like it has to hmm. It has to be strong enough that it's useful. Strong enough that it's useful, but it doesn't overpower just taking Grandmasters in, the, in an ability. Yeah. No, okay, so working Wait, for Lennon, anything is Lennon, good. Wait, Lennon, I might be stupid. Yeah. Uh, no, never mind. I thought I, I thought I, uh, never mind, I'm dumb. Okay, so... Oh, it's because you can't take Grandmasters. That balances, yeah. I think. Yeah. You, so you can't uh, take we'll, Grandmasters. We'll test it as is. We'll test yeah, it as test is. It as if is, it's yeah. insane, then... I mean, and by default, like... Like, regular adaptability applies a 50% to untrained skills. So... Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah okay. Then, then it's not broken because everybody has a little bit in every skill, then. Yeah, well, the, they're untrained ones, yeah. Exactly. And then Jack of all trades lets you use it at, at skills that you have trading in. So if yes. I've got so if I've got like uh, eight ad eight adaptability, I can apply a pl I can apply plus four to any skill I'm completely untrained in. But then if I take Jack of all trades, if I am um, say uh, trained in that, I get my plus four and then the plus two from being trained in it. All the way up to the plus six from Master, 
but I can't take Grandmaster. So I think that that comes out to the same in the end. You know? Lennon? I, yeah, I don't know if that works. I mean, we could make it so... I, then we you could just make get it things so, to Master, and then you never take Grandmaster, and you just take Jack of All Trades we, and get pushed up to the Grandmaster size anyway. We could make it so you can't go beyond Expert instead. That could be good. I'll I'll set that for now. We'll nerf it a little bit. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it, the, the the phrase literally is "Jack of all trades, master of none." Yeah, that's that works. Yeah. So you lose out on master and grandmaster in exchange for being a little bit good at everything. Okay. Uh, appraisal, um, language. I think on character creation, we should make it like you get a certain amount of training traits. Yeah. Like, maybe you get, like... Well, no, we give people enough treat points to start with. Like, oh, right, could... and then there's yeah. taints to balance it out. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. like you you have enough to get maybe like four skills to trained, and then like enough to get like maybe like oh a yeah nice we already talked about two. this because like and if you're and if you're trying to like min max you might take one really strong thing and then and then just be untrained in like every fucking skill. Yeah. Work your way up to jack of all trades. Yeah. I mean, well, jack of all trades does need training on some stuff. Yeah. So like. Like, basically, if you only take, like, a few skills that you're, you want to be good at, like, maybe you only take two skills, and then you take, and then you just use adaptability for everything else. Mm -hmm. Adaptability also means that we can have a massive skill list, because then even if you're not um, trained in something, like, there's this hyper-niche fucking skill that, like, no one thought to take, well, apply your adaptability to it. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Uh... Mm, street uh. smarts. Yeah, the construction comes through every now and again, Lennon, but it, it it's 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 fine. It it's it's fine. I'm so sorry. No, no, you're fine. I understand what it's like. I live in a I Lennon, I live in a college town. People were just holding a fucking rave in our parking lot like a few days ago. It was very annoying because it was 3 a.m. I have no idea how Chris slept through it. Yeah. I realize arcane doesn't necessarily mean magical. Yeah. Like, by definition, like, yeah. arcane can be used in a non-fantasy setting. Yeah, arcane is just, hey, there's just... some, like, weird, like, bullshit that I don't know anything about. Like, arcane could also be religious. Yeah. Like, I think like... the description for arcane would be, um... And yeah, even in even in like a non uh, even in like a non fantasy setting, like in like a like a realistic like setting, people still believe in magic and like occult bullshit. Yeah. So like you would like yeah, it's like it's like how I described it: the study of things beyond mortal ken, so religion, magic, historical yeah. myth, etc. Yeah. No. No, I like that. Okay. Yeah. See, I'm not. I like tech. Like, tech as well, like, technology, like, if we specifically say technology instead of tech. Because even in a fantasy setting, technology exists. That would be, like, clockworks and bullshit. I will agree with you on that one. Uh... The higher levels of the technology of the time. Or setting, yeah. Yeah. Um. What other kind of cool things? Um. Uh. Science. 
That's education, isn't it? Yeah, it falls under education. I mean, do you want to have... Maybe we could have education, and then you gotta, you got to fill in what your education is. Ooh, yeah. So then you can take education levels in education, like, multiple times. Yeah. Wait, but then we ha we might have to change the system if there's this huge list, because it's kind of like... Hmm. No, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm thinking sideways. Uh, if we have a thing where you can, like, just put in whatever subject, unless we list specific subjects to take things in, that's fine. Okay, never mind. Yeah, we can list specific subjects, but also, like, leave room for, hey, here's something... Yeah, obscure languages would f probably fall under arcane too. Yeah, like actually, I think that might be. I think that might actually should be its own skill. Linguistics. We have languages skill. Do we? Oh, you have it suggested. Oh yeah. Do we want to just? Add, I'm just gonna rename it linguistics. I mean, language is fine too. But linguistics is specifically the study of language. Yeah, but you language still would cover that. True. Depending I'd, how you want to flavor it. I'd like my five dollar word though. Okay, we can use your five dollar word. Cost me an entire five dollars, Lynn. Yeah. Yeah. It sucks um, that they started putting just average words that everyone can use in DLC packs. Yeah. Like anti disestablishmentarianism. What the fuck? Why'd I gotta pay ten dollars for that? I really wish I had my se setup better because then I could have like a censor button and like attempt to say a word and as a bit just censor myself and be like, yeah, I never unlocked beep, but I don't have that set up so I can't do it. Linen. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I'm going to have to pay fifty dollars to unlock <laughs> now. What the fuck, Lennon? <laughs> there we go. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, all right. So I'm just gonna list out for education subject and let me know if like this is something that we can just throw away. Um No, I think that's great. Um, I think we can actually just have, like, uh, hang on, let me finish typing. That gets a little rid of a lot of other skills, and that's a good thing. Yeah, but also you can just have education listed multiple times with different parentheses. Yeah, yeah, and then people will get the gist of it. Yeah. Like, you could just, uh, like, you could list, like, education, history, education, math, education, science, and then just have education dot dot dot, yeah. and, like, let people put in their own for that one. Yeah, and then maybe have, like, blank space at the end of the character sheet that, um, for, like, yeah. more education things. Yeah, I think, I think that the, um... This will rely pretty heavily on the DM being a good DM and, like, paying attention to character sheets and working no. to include those things for the players, but that's just how to run a good team. Like, that's on the, that's on the table. Yeah. We, we, we can provide you the tools. We can't teach you how to be good at a TTRPG. Yeah, so, like, as an example, right, um, fucking, uh, if someone wanted to make a, make one, make a, make a campaign using our system set in the League of Legends universe, right? Yes. Like, someone could go, DM, can I have skills in education for Hextech? Which yeah, would exactly. be, like, a setting-specific field of study that the DM then has to, like, you know, be like, yes, you can. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Chad just redeemed a hydrate and a stretch leggies. Like Lennon, can I take a two-minute break? My back is starting to seize. Yeah, sure. Are we yeah. going to be right back then? Yes. Okay. I'm I, gonna I know, go like, I only I'll really be... just got back, but. Yeah, I'm going to go grab a drink. It's fine. All right. Back in a second. See you in a minute. Bye bye. Fuck. <laughs> Got 
god is dead. Charming. That's horrifying. Just simply do not be taxed. Simply evade America. No! Do not say- do not advocate tax evasion on my stream. <laughs> I'm kidding, that is a joke. But I thought dolls don't pay taxes. I mean, yeah. Just don't tell the government that. Oh, fun fact, there's dolls in New Mexico, apparently. Really? Yeah, and apparently they kill a lot of people. Yikes. They know what they did. And evade their taxes. Exactly. <laughs> no! <laughs> I was not thinking putting Koga stays. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is, yes. this is cursed bingo stream card. <laughs> non, non, con, non consensual parentheses problematic is mentioned. <laughs> I'm sorry, Fred. I'm sorry. I, I, I cannot be I cannot be held accountable for stuff that I say. Don't chase him. That's what he wants. Zeno! I didn't even chase him. Yeah, you walked right in front oh, of me. Why would you do this? I think I hit him with a fireball. Fuck it, actually walked in front of me. Oh, what? Get good because people are complaining about the difficulty. But they were complaining about the difficulty on like the hardest levels, saying, oh, it's too far, it's too hard, it's unbalanced. Like, no, genuinely, you're playing on the hardest difficulty yeah. and you're like in your level 20s. Like, it's gonna be hard. Yeah. Like, I, I think one of the main issues with this game. Like, by the way, I'm saying this to someone who loves this game, by the way, and thinks that, like, it can go very, very hard. I, I... Less politics, more gawk. Thank you. My girl cock is yours for the taking, but you'll have to find it first. I left every cock I own in one piece. Get yeah, back! Thanks for the sippy. I'm, si I'm drinking out of my girl cock. Well, Maeve has a uvula, so... I mean, that's 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 something that's, like, slightly different. I don't think Maeve can, op can like, stick her tongue out, though. Uh, no, Maeve cannot stick her tongue out. Alright, get in. Ah. Why is there a modeled uvula? Why is there a modeled uvula? Light the four figures in the ever jail. Okay. Easy. Easy. Easy money. Chat, what if I just had like a camera angle where I'm just like, hi. Hello. Oh, the inside of my mouth is like blue, blue. I mean, I knew that, but like, ah. <laughs> what the fuck are these gloves? Face the younger sibling gets all the good toys you get dirt. Yeah, kind of. One thing I don't like about being a worgen is my fucking mane clips through every hood I fucking own. We're back. Leggy break over. All right. Um. Did you say skaboop? Skaboop. 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 Guess what I have? Guess what I have? Guess what right. I have? Guess what I got? Guess what, what I got? What you got? What you got? What you got? Uh, I have sugar-free Mountain Dew. Oh. <gasps> and you're not sharing. Oh my god. I should have grabbed the soylent out of my fridge when I was up. I mean, I have Damn. plenty of them. If I could share it with you, I would. Pour them into the microphone. <laughs> 
That sounds like a bad plan. <laughs> I'll I'm just, not I'll, going to do that. I'll just put my headphones in my mouth. Just. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I that sounds like it's it's a plan that is bad. So. What about instead of that? What? Uh, good things. Yes, good things. Good things must happen. Um. Okay. Uh, if I can bit focus. Focus time. Focus. <laughs> oh, funny. Uh, okay, so my skill is so far, uh, because honestly, we keep just kind of having the same idea at the same time, so we keep just adding to the confirmed skills instead. No, that's fine. That's fine. It's because my brain doesn't work, and it's just like... Mm. I don't know. Maybe we should it's look at skill lists from doesn't... other other RPGs and like see if there's any that... Oh, um... Oh, uh, detective shit. <laughs> detective shit? Oh. Uh, what, like investigation and shit? Is that what you mean? This is how it will appear on the skill- on the skill- on the skill page. Hold on, what are- what are you- what are you saying? <laughs> detective shit, hell yeah. No, I'm not. Uh, yeah, okay. It's just, it just says batman -y. Okay. I just gonna put, I just gonna put my investigation down there, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's I'm all good. Like I, have, I have a silly gremlin in my brain right now. Yeah, for a bit I was gonna be like, hi Nova. How's it going? How we doing? Release me. Uh, no, okay, fucking... Alright, fuck. Focus, fuck. Ow, ow. Ah, shit, I forgot what I look like again. Yeah, Sam. <laughs> Just normal things. Yeah. Uh... Oh, shit, fuck. Uh, shit, fuck, indeed. Um. What are we doing? Uh. Skills, I think. My brain stopped. My brain stopped. What? Yeah. Oh, that's why that looks stupid. I, sorry, I'm doing a little bit of art back here. No, no, you're fine. You're fine. I'm going to show the people's. My art? Oh, God! Recursion! Oh, God. oh is it's it? It's Burner Wilson! Don't... Oh, cause yours, yours is gone. Yours, yours, yours yeah, disappeared. Let me... <gasps> oh, let me. Uh... That's so silly. Um, Werner Wilson. Um... I love that you named the. Is this visit. a bot? What? Is this a bot? Uh, hey, Wait. streaming superstar. Yes, that's why I banned them. Oh, you already got it. Sorry. It just still is on my thing. Um, I mean, also, I'm not adding someone called Israel. Jesus Christ. Ah, like, there we like, go. Mm. There, I'm doing an outfit. The definition of recursion is Burner Wilson. Oh, yeah, right. I forgot that I had that. I'm like, what are you talking about? <gasps> Wait, then that's super cute. Yeah, isn't it? That's super cute. I wish to pat. It's, I wish to pat the goblin. It's, it's my um. It was my normal outfit for quite some time. Hmm. Now you just you're bringing it into the modern era. Well, I thought I. I mean, I'm probably hopefully have three point oh out uh next month. <gasps> hopefully, we'll see. That's not a promise. Oh. It's not a promise. It's just it's a uh, it's an attempt. Oh no! Lennon, Hopefully, I, what? I don't know. I don't know if you see it, but there's a, a minor fuckity on the right arm. What? Your your blue is bleeding. Oh, that's that's the sketch layer. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, that's that's okay. No, no, 
need to focus. Need to focus. Okay, fuck. Ah, linen, help, brain. Hello. How's it going? Help, my brain. It's betraying you, I know. Yeah. Ah, uh, fuck. Okay. <sighs> shit. Piss. Okay. Ah, oh, shit, piss. Uh, I think I need to look at, like, the skill pages for, like, like other systems and, like, just kind of, like, see, like, what, like, like what comes to mind. Because my know brain what? is actually sputtering right now. I straight up had a good idea, though. Yeah? Oh, hold on. Somebody's phoning me. Wow. I'm not answering that. No, don't. Who, who answers phone calls? What the fuck is that? I do when they're from the government and they're asking if someone in my household is applying for food stamps and if they should cancel mine. And I'm like, no! Why would they do that? Because food stamps are supposed to be for, like, one household. But, like... Oh. Yeah, like, but I'm just like, like... When I applied, I was like, no, I'm only getting food for me. Everyone else is fending for themselves. And then it's like... Veronica and Chris both lost their jobs, so I had to just buy food for them because I'm not going to let them starve. And then Sai, and also, like, Sai as well. And Sai, then Sai apply for food stamps because, like, you know, Sai's having trouble paying for food as well. Yeah. And they realize that it's the same apartment, and they're like, hey, so, like, Sai's applying for food stamps as well. Should we cancel yours? No! And they're like, okay, we'll add, we'll add it's... them to your account, and we'll adjust oh. the number accordingly. But also, if it's determined that your household makes too much money, which or 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 is just not oh. eligible, we will cancel your food stamps. So that sucks. Yeah, Sai might have fucked me a little bit. I'm hoping they didn't. But even then, I can't really say Sai fucked me. It's the government fucking me. It is. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not really Sai's fault. So I no. did the thing that they felt was right for them, which is, food's fucking expensive. They need help. Yeah, that's a reasonable. Okay, uh... Anyway, what are we doing? Yes, so I'm gonna look up the Call of Cthulhu skill list. Because you said oh, that... Oh, I had an idea. Yeah? What if we hold off on just finishing the skill list, and we just start playing the game, and just start naming skills as we need them? That... Would be good. Yeah. I I'm I'm gonna look at some of these though, just to kind of see. They've got oh you should probably have animal handling or just animals. Yeah. Uh anthropology. I feel like that falls into like lore slash history or even arcane. Anthropology? Yeah, somewhere in there. Lore yeah. history. Yeah. Um I already Historical did appraisal. Lore. Archaeology, like I don't think I think I don't think you really need archaeopteryx. <laughs> the skill of taming the legendary archaeopteryx. Yes, might be a setting in the, a setting agnostic syndrome, but there's always <laughs> there's always an archaeopteryx every time. Always arts and crap. Oh, that's a good point. Art should be a thing. Ooh. Hi, Fee. Shabingo. Hi, Fee. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for your resub. Thirty-one months. Oh my god, that's almost like... Is it... <clears throat> is it art, though? Yes. Like artistic, or, or at least like artistic skill? Oh, artistic skill. I see. Yeah. Don't you have a creativity idea? No, uh... No, artist. I want something in there. Something in there. Yeah. I feel like artistic yeah. skill and creativity... I, no, I think art creativity should not be a thing. That should be something that's, like, pl on the player. Artistic skill yeah. is the execution of that creativity. Sure. Yeah. So the player can be like, I want to paint a... I want to do a, like, Wiley e. Coyote, like, paint a tunnel wall at the end of this road that goes into a brick wall for some reason. And the, yes. and the artistic skill would be how realistic you make it look. Um, artillery. Oh, charm. Like charm, seduction, ah, stuff like that. Yeah. Um. 
Like, I feel I... like there needs... Well, charm might be it. I was going to say, like, there needs to be, like, a social skill that's, like, how... I think charm is specifically, like, bringing people over to your side versus, like, persuasion would be, like, hey, maybe we should work together this one time. I'm thinking, like, how cultured are, like, is somebody? Hmm. You know? So, like, so like... I, I think the difference would be charm is, like... Yes, yes, I'm saying that charm isn't that. Yeah, charm is not that. Charm is, like, fluttering your eyelashes, like, tee-hee kind of beat. And then persuasion is, like, yeah. you know, we really should overthrow the bourgeoisie and install... Uh, the proletariat as the ruling body, you know, like that, that would be persuasion. Yeah, versus, but I'm versus... even thinking, I'm, I'm thinking like, um, what do you call it? Hmm? Like how cultured somebody is. If that makes sense, like, no, like, I don't know. I don't get it. Like, like, like. We were talking about, like, artistic skill, mm -hmm. but I mean, like, like in that vein of thing, but not skill so much as, like, the, the knowledge of what is good art. Like, how culture, like, do you, do you know what I mean? Like, like high society culture? Oh! I mean, I think that, hmm. Or is that just more of somebody figures that out in flavor? I think that's something someone, some, yeah, I think that's someone figures that out in flavor, like... Like that, like the the play, the DM just goes. You see a massive oil painting in front of you, and the player goes, "Hey, DM, can I use my artistic skill to try and determine like what um movement this is from, or some shit like that?" Like, technically, if they can make the argument that they're classically trained, they would know that as part of their artistic skill, versus someone else might know it as part of their history or as part of their even like their arcane. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I back up your partner. Yeah, he's okay. He's a little grumpy because he was really looking forward to eating his his uh, cheese sauce. Um, like it's it's like a it was like a like a like a burger patty <laughs> served in Beautiful. a cheese sauce, and he was very very upset. But um, yeah, Veronica's cat's in trouble. That's the end all be all of it. Um, yeah. So. I think we should have multiple social skills, so it's not just, like, so, like, if someone's, like, you know, fluttering their eyelashes, right? Thank you for the yeah. beauties! Someone's fluttering their eyelashes, that's charm. If someone's trying to give, like, a well-reasoned argument, that would be persuasion. Um, if somebody is, if you're trying to, like, con like con bring someone over by being, you know, like, charming and following social cues, just to steal Kadalbog's idea, because, like, it'd be etiquette. And even yes, then, that wouldn't that go. wouldn't that wouldn't need to entirely be like a talking to someone's. No, skeleton, etiquette. Like... Etiquette is actually what that's the word I was looking for before. Okay. Yeah. Like so that's closer to what I was looking for before. Yeah. So if you're talking to a nobleman, like you might get called on your etiquette skill, where it's like, I would like to persuade the nobleman to uh, help support my cause, and it's like, all right, uh, you can roll persuasion or you can roll etiquette to try and bring him on side with being like classy or some shit like that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I also put personal grooming. Because... Okay, yeah. I think that that might be something for a social... A skill for, I don't think we need a skill for personal grooming. That's... Hang on. Hear me out. Right? It's not just, like, you know, taking a bath and all that. It's, like, dressing yourself up fancy, like, fucking... And you could even tie it into, like, doing makeup and disguises and stuff. I I think that's the wrong word to use then. Okay. Um What would you call it then? I don't know. Like disguise doesn't feel right cuz it wouldn't be just for disguising. It would be for like dressing up as well. Yeah, um fashion sense. Fashion? Yeah, no, yeah, cuz well, I said at the same time you did. Fashion might be good. I don't know. Maybe. Why did uh, I start typing fascist? God damn it! Because uh, our world is fucking ah, horrible. Yeah. Well, and I have brain gremlins today. Fucking, I swear to God. 
Oh, it happens. Uh... All right. Um, I'm going to go back to looking at Cthulhu's skill list. Uh, computer use, that falls under technologies. We don't really need that. Cr Why does Call of Cthulhu have a fucking credit score skill? Oh, because uh, that's how they do their... Um, that's how they do currency. You don't just have money. Like, oh, money's more abstracted. Like, you have an amount of money you have access to rather than, like, tracking individual dollars. Oh, that's fucking fun. Uh... I don't... Probably fashion should have, like, fashion slash disguise. Unless we want to have, like, a separate disguise skill. I have a suggestion. Yeah. For a skill. Yeah. Well, put it in your list. Sure. Okay. Uh, hear me out. Yes. But what about money? We don't need specific money. We can have wealth oh. to mean that you have access to a range of money. Wait. And then you get to spend a certain amount. Like, you can only spend a certain amount in that range each what? session. Winning. What? That breaks down with our weapon system. Why? Because, oh, well, and also the skill system, it doesn't work. Because how are you going to be trained in money? You're not trained in money, you just are more wealthy. Maybe we have that as a variant? Okay, why does it break down? Let's, let's talk about this. Okay, so say I want to make a big-ass sword. Right? I want to make a big okay. ass sword. It's got like flame tongue and like all these other cool things on it, right? Yeah. And the money cost on it's going to be huge, like massive, right? If all I have is a wealth skill, then I have yes. to like take treats to boost up my wealth. And then if I get to Grandmaster, I still might, if, if I want to make like this super big giga sword, I even then might not have enough wealth. And that's not fun. I want, like, why, why not just make it so that people can have, like, gold or credits or dollars or whatever? Because then they can save up. If they want that big-ass Gigasword, they can go out of their way to, like, obtain money to then put towards the Gigasword. Okay, but maybe wealth is a variable, like, it's a variable skill. It would go up and down. I don't, I don't like that. Okay. I don't like that. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't like the, I, I don't like tracking individual dollars as much. Like I said, maybe we make it a variant. Like it's something that you have as an option. Sure. Yeah. There's like, also just the fact of balancing all of the all of the like because to me it's just like you have a certain amount that you can spend like like a range of like a certain amount you can spend. Uh, well, the way that it's done in other in other games that I've played is that like it's it's kind of like wealth is more sorry like your downtime money, where like you have access to your normal life, not just your adventuring. So you have kind of like your downtime money, like so what? between Wait. like between missions in downtime, you like this is what's in your bank account. This is your general wealth. Mm -hmm. So then you can spend a certain amount of money in downtime without spending what your pocket money is. Oh. If you're on a mission, then you'd oh. have pocket money. That oh. would be an actual currency. Okay, yeah, so we were about to have the same idea. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay, so idea that was given, delivered to me in a vision. So, yes, we have this wealth stat, but it's setting dependent, because let's be honest, like a fantasy world might not have a bank. Banks oh, are, yeah, yeah. How yeah. wealth is measured can be... Oh, Liv, I'm I, an idiot. Yes, hello. We might be having the same idea. Yeah, can I finish, please? Can I, can I, can I see okay. if I'm going where you're going? Okay. Wealth isn't your actual spendable currency, it's just like you're standing in wealthiness? Yes. There we go, sure, I'm down. Yeah. Yeah, so we could do that, and it's like, if you're, like in, <laughs> a, if you're, if you're in a town, and you have, like, a grandmasters in wealth, you're like a Jeffy Bezos kind of dude. And you can be like, it's... I'm going to put collateral. And like the collateral isn't like your actual money in your pocket. It's like a mansion or something you own in another town. 
Yeah, it's 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 like your your financial clout rather than your direct currency on hand. Yeah, it's it's not your liquid assets. Yeah, so like I love it. Yeah, so it's like uh, you you yeah, so it's your it, yeah, it's your it's your um, investments, it's your buildings, it's your which makes uh, this a social skill. Yeah, this is a social skill. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So can we call it not wealth? Can we call it like uh? Affluence. Yeah, let's call affluence it affluence. Is a good one. Let's call Hell it affluence. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now I want a skill that's just called clout. Yes. Can we call it clout? Can we call it clout instead? Yeah, sure, because then yes. you can just flavor it to what that means. Uh, investigation, clout. Uh, level of hella bread you have. <laughs> I was gonna say like social influence and then in brackets like wealthiness trust like general community trustworthiness stuff like that hang on financial influence parentheses level of hella bread but it's not just financial that that would be like like I'm saying like the the flavor of clout could be financial financial slash fame Slash, um... Infamy. Infamy. Slash well-knownitude. 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 That kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So that way, like, you still have your, like, pocket money. So you're, like, in your pocket, you're like, okay, I've got, like, $1,000. And then it's like, but, like, I have, uh, maybe, like, when you take a level in well, make a, a level in clout, you need to, like, talk with the DM about what it is. And so long as that physical exactly, object yeah. remains, you have that skill. So, like, you take a point in it, and you tell, and you're like, okay, I am now trained in clout. What do, like, like DM, I would like to be the proprietor of a Denny's two towns over. <laughs> like, all right, so long as that Denny stands, you are trained in, in clout. Next level you take it, you're like, DM, I, 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 would like to, I would like to own a small business selling tea cozies. And that's your next level up. I mean, but clout can also just be like your clout could just come from being like you're good at a thing. Like, yeah, too. Clout doesn't yeah, too. mean you have to have a thing. Yeah, but like, I was it, it should be. It should be a like talk to the DM about what it means. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I was specifically talking about the financial part. You could have another one where it's like, um, I would like to take like, a yeah, level fame. in. I would like to take a level in clout uh, using fame. And uh, the fame, the thing I'm I'm saying is that I slew a big evil dragon and then like later on if a big evil dragon shows up and you don't go all right i'm gonna kill it then you lose that point because now everyone knows that you ran the fuck away from that big ugly dragon basically it's like it's like you ever play fallout of uh, fallout fable Lennon? first one live yes live yes i have so many hours in that game i have played endless hours okay when when the expanded version came out i yeah. i spent so much time just like Same. running around the new town trying to purchase Same. all of the shops when and why did they make fable suck after the first one there's a new one coming out live there's still a it, chance it better be good it better be good or i'm going to kill peter molyneux is he involved with it no he's not Oh my god, he's making a new game. Hold on. He's making, um... Yes. Masters of Albion? Ooh. Oh yeah, because he has rights to Albion. Just not to, Albion, not to Fable. Nobody has rights to Albion. Because it's a mythological world where... It's a myth it's the mythological land where King Arthur went to, yeah. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a... Public domain, essentially. Yes. Um... But that means it's it's essentially like unofficially part of the Fable universe. Yeah. But it's also just black and white. Can, Lennon, can I say like a like a hot like a hot take? What? Fable was good in spite of Molly New, not because of him. No, absolutely, I hundred percent agree. Do you know how disappointed I was with the second game? I pre-ordered I pre-ordered the fucking collector's edition because you were supposed to get a little Hob figure. Yeah. And a and metal like. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, and you never got it, right? Case. You never got it, right? Um, and then it was supposed to also have like a canvas bag, and yeah. like half the things were canceled out of it, and the price yeah. didn't drop. And I was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, I hate. It. I'm gonna be honest, Lennon. 
I love Fable 1, and I played every game in the series, hoping that it would be as good as Fable 1, and they weren't. The only, the the main only thing... one I didn't play was the Connect one, and now there's no way to do it. Yep. I will say, I did like Fable 2 a bit more, because there was a bit more in the way of like being able to customize your hero, and mm -hmm. um, also that was one of the few games where, because it was multiplayer and I was playing with my friends from school, um, I uh, had to play as a guy character at the time. And then uh, when I beat the game and I was playing with them, I accidentally drank the gender change potion. Oh no. And oh no. Yeah, and I was like, oh no, guys, there's no way back. I guess, oh uh, no, I'm stuck. Oh jeez, man. Like, they all were, like, I'm gonna be, I guess kind of probably was how, that's probably kind of why I realized, like, I was like, oh, oh yeah, I'm like, there is something going on. I don't think yeah. I have the word for trans yet. I don't think I had that word. Yeah. Yet. Yeah. Like, I knew, I knew no, it wasn't I feel a guy. You. I feel you on that. Yeah. I played a girl um, in, like, every game I could, and, but, like, Fable, like, I didn't really have the excuse, because, like, well, Fable 1, you, you, you played as a guy by default, and it's like, yep. it's just like, oh, oh, shit, if I pick a girl here, they'll know. Uh, uh. Oops, so, yeah. I didn't know what this thing did, and now it Oops. happened. Yeah. What a fortunate mistake, yeah. That wasn't, like, me realizing I was trans, because I knew that I was trans. I just didn't know, like, what trans was, or that it was possible. No, I feel you. I feel yeah. you on that. Yeah. Um. And then one of the guys I had a- one of the guys I was playing with was a friend I had a secret crush on, and, um, may have, uh, may have had our characters fuck 50 times for the achievement. Oh, okay. He doesn't know. He doesn't know that I had a crush on him. But also, he votes right wing now, so fuck him. He's probably a weirdo. You said the same thing twice. Anyway, um, <laughs> do you know what the third game got really good though? The, that they got right in the third game. Wait. One, you have a dog. Yes, you had a dog in the second game too. Oh hell yeah! Um, they got the the sh the landlording right. Yeah. The, the the owning shops and owning buildings. Yeah. I think they got that right in the third one. That was really fun. In that, like, the higher you set the rent, the the more evil you get? Yeah, I was really nice. I kind of just gave a lot of... Like, I was really evil for a while and jacked up all the rents to get rich. Mm -hmm. And then I made all of the things as free as I could. Yeah, I basically did that. I Yeah, and then everybody loved me after I was a horrible... Yeah. A horrible menace for a while yeah i never did that like i i basically like from like a very young age i was like oh man landlording is evil my parents are landlords just for context but um yeah i was like man landlording is evil why would you ever like force people to pay just to fucking exist and live so yeah i bought yeah. every single house in albion i set the rent as low as possible and then like i picked every like good decision that like you know didn't like you know, like you didn't I, like every good decision that didn't make you money, but made it kept Albion looking nice. Um, mm. And then they were like, right, you're going to need like five million gold pieces in order to like build an army. And I could not bring myself to set the rents high again. You know what I fucking did? What? Me. Did you guitar hero? Yeah. So, by the way, this was like the first like fable game that I felt comfortable enough to play a girl from the beginning. So, unlike her ancestor, the trans woman queen, <laughs> this one was a cis woman. Uh, yeah, uh, I did not do Guitar Hero, I did the bartending minigame. Oh, okay, they have the whatever loot hero or... Mm -hmm. I was not good at whatever loot that I was good at bartending. Yeah, I was bad at that too. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, the Queen of Albion is just tending bar for, like, fucking 16-hour shifts. Yeah. Taking her tips to build, to raise five million gold to raise an army. Like, when you think of it that way, man, the people of Albion are assholes. The queen is literally, like, tending bar to try and raise an army. Like, come on now. She's like, your taxes are as close to zero as they can get. Like, no donations? Come on now. Like, bruh. Sounds like there wasn't a single awakening. There's multiple small waking moments until realization tipped over. Um, no, like from like the time I was like five, I knew like I was not a guy. I just didn't know that that no, was possible. I thought I was, I that's, thought that's, I was broken. Yeah, that's the thing is like 
it's it's not that it's not like just like things that you clue into suddenly it's that you don't have the words until somebody tells you that that's a thing that exists yeah it's not a sudden realization it's just like oh okay i'm not making this up this yeah. is a real thing yeah it's not the realization that you're trans it's that it is a real thing yeah and also like and also like there are some people that do have what uh, what van described but for those people it's more often than not they've built up such like a fucking like hard shell of like performative masculinity that like they've lost track of who they actually are underneath it yeah i don't have that experience that happened to me for a little bit but like it was after the it was after the oh no i might be a girl and then it was followed by i can't be it's not safe to be a girl and then the, yeah. and then i started putting the stuff on top of it but like i didn't lose track of who i was i was just miserable underneath all of that performative stuff yeah, I, I went and became a drug addict for a while. Yeah. Yeah, it was a bad choice. Yeah. I mean, I, I say that. It was I a mean, bad I, choice. I almost became a Republican, so I don't, I, you know, I would argue oh. that, like, you know, neither is great. That's pretty scary. Yeah. I'm glad you got better. Yeah. Sitting there in, like, the, the fucking, sitting, sitting there in the voting booth, fucking just, like, looking between, like, do I vote for, do I vote for, uh, <laughs> do I vote for Trump or do I vote for Hillary Clinton? Oh no! I hate to I'm, say it, but that's like, not even a choice, though. Yeah. No, no, it's a choice between. I mean, like, I, yeah, I'm, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, we don't need to get into it. Yeah, I do want to say I mean, that, like, I pretended yeah. to vote. I didn't actually vote that year. I pretended to vote. Oh. Yeah, my parents were very much pressuring me to vote Trump. Phil, they're very big QAnoners now, which is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Yeah. Well, they're assholes. I hope the new So you know how the hurricane just hit uh Florida? Yeah. There's another one coming and it's pointed directly at their house and I am got my fingers crossed. Yeah, I saw I saw the news about that today. I'm like, oh I wish I had more fingers so I could cross just more can't of them. Get a break, hey. It's well, no, no, it's it's my it's me. It's me. I'm doing it. I'm purposefully sending as many hurricanes as I can specifically to that part well, of Florida. Well don't do that. Send very small ones, very targeted small hurricanes. When and I'm a being of chaos, I can't do precision. Well, get somebody who can. Ah, oh, shit. We're just gonna further the weather machine conspiracy theories. Yeah. Though. That's let's not. You ever like try to tell a joke and then the rest of your brain locks your mouth down until the until your desire to tell the joke is passed? Because that just happened. Okay. It would have been a very bad joke, um, though, in real, in retrospect, though, so I'm not gonna not say Liv, it. Liv, I think both of our brains have, like, given up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and then I'm having problems. We have been distracted for, like, a long-ass time now. No, I know, that's what I'm saying. I think, I think there's a, so much of this we can do at one time. Yeah. I mean, we're almost, and like, we may... fucking, we're almost, we're, we're almost two and a half hours in. We usually go for three. Do we? Yeah, we usually go my, for three, don't we? My goal is always two. Am I brain damaged? I might be brain damaged. We go for three when we do D and D. Oh, that's true. Yeah, um, I don't know. We, I think we did close to three hours last time. So yeah, we do need. I don't more... think we have an established amount of time yet. Yeah, we do need more skills. Artillery is a great one. I can write it down. Yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like that would fall under firearms, wouldn't it? Would it? No, because yeah, like a cannon isn't a gun. Oh, we've got cannons as a potential firearm. Do those a, a ones? Fucking, do those ones just a use? Is not a gun. Do we just use those as our? Do we just like use have those use the artillery skill instead? A ship-mounted gravity cannon is not a firearm. Okay. Well, they're still listed under the types. We've got the super heavy guns. Oh, we? yeah, yeah. For, for, those, for those things, it'll be, like, listed under that kind of stuff. Yeah. But for a skill, an artillery is different than a yeah. gun. When making a gun, determine what it is. A pistol, a rifle, anti-materiel, or a launcher. Would launchers yeah, use but artillery that's, skill? That'll... I think that, like, it depends. Like, if it's, if it's a mortar, maybe... If it's like a like if it's a rocket launcher, no. Mm. 
like if it's something you can carry and fire is not artillery then it's a good yeah then it's a firearm if it's something you have to plant in the dirt and then fire then it's artillery oh um, launcher rocket that's what launcher I'm okay um sorry oh um rocket launcher so driving slash pilot it wait would should piloting be a different different skill yes yes and yes. Th this could be like a skill that like no a piloting like... dash spaceship <laughs> no that's too specific i think like no, driving piloting helicopter no like driving piloting would be, like... airplane Land, land just because you can helicopter does not mean you can airplane and just because you can do both those things does not mean you can spaceship live oh okay but like also you gotta think like this has to be generic to settings though yeah like, it would be piloting comma air vehicles no that's too generic yeah. piloting comma choice player choice but like then that's just then, then that's like then that's just boat though yeah, but it's similar to how we have uh, education. Oh. True. Um, yeah, it doesn't bloat. It just gives more niche choice. I think driving can be, like, more generic. Like, mm. driving... Because driving is generally driving, right? Yeah. Uh... Piloting. Pilot. Uh, I don't know. I, I mean, but like, also like, we do like helicopter skills. If someone's in fantasy, it's like, hello, what's your helicopter then, you know? No, it won't have a specific helicopter skill. It'll just be piloting and then the same as education. You choose, like, you pick, like, you just choose what your piloting expertise is. Like, we don't have to have them listed. You just choose one. You just, like, be like... Oh, I want my character, like, you flavor. I want my character to fly spaceships. So you get spaceships. So I like want my that. character to pilot, yeah. Okay. One non-land vehicle to specialize in. I think piloting has, well, I guess air ve like. Air, no, no, yeah, choose, pilot, choose a type of air vehicle. No, no, because submarines. And also boats. Oh, you can, yeah, you can pilot. Do you pilot a ship? Yeah, you pilot ships, yeah. Okay, then that's, that's fine. actually. That's actually Land where we get. Ships. I love it. That's actually where we get the term for. That's where we get pilot the word from. It's also I why when slash vehicle type. That's exactly what it is. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I understand. Yeah. It's also why when we have spaceships, they have pilots instead of helmsmen. Unless it's Star Trek, then they have both, which is weird. But what Van's saying in the highlighted one is what we should do. That works. Because then, like, we could, like, even skills could be just weapons and then parentheses, like what we're doing with piloting and education. We could have weapons, swords, weapons, firearms. I'm going to be honest, I'm making this with the idea that it's going to be played digitally, but yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Like, swords is a weapon skill, like, you'd still have to put specifically into swords. And treats would affect those specifically, weapon swords, or we like even like we could have generic weapons treats that like effect, affect all effect weapons. All of them. Yeah, that's probably what damage treats are. Largely. I would need. But yeah, to you see, get what I would, I'm saying. I would. I would need to see it. My brain can't visualize it. Yeah. We will. I'll. Oh. I'll... It would just be like the here. Yeah. Um. Oh, fucking pick lock. Yeah, I think I'm hitting the end of my brain sauce, Landon. Brain sauce, I love my it. My brain sauce. I need to like go. This. I, I need see. to. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. Yeah, it would just be like that. Yeah. That's all. Blah. 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 Yeah, my brain leaking out my ears. Ears are too big, brain leaking out.
See, yeah. Do we want to have specific things for like swords, or should it be? Didn't we already talk about this? Talk about what? I thought we already talked about this. Where we wouldn't have swords; it'd be like blades or something. It would yes. be like more generic. Yeah, it'd be like blades, groupings. blades, blunt archery, stuff like that. Yes, we have that somewhere written down. Yeah, or at the very least, we talked about it. So we would oh, have those are the attributes. So those wouldn't be skills; those are just attributes to the weapon. Yes. Okay, I, I remember where that is. Okay, should we have a specific sword skill, or should it be more like um, what Rain is saying about having to be like I, melee ranged, etc.? I, I think we should, because by the same token as the piloting thing, swinging a blunt weapon is very different to swinging a sword. Okay, so then should it be more generic where like... It should be like blades and blunt, because I, I would say the swinging an axe and swinging the sword... While they are different because the weight distribution is different, the, the, the concept is still the same, you know, like edge alignment and shit like that. So I think we could just have, we could have blades, blunts, blades, blunts, <laughs> blades, <laughs> blunts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Blades, blunts, archery, and, um, and firearms. I I oh, kind yeah. of want to roll crossbows into archery, so that like arch so that crossbows can. Serve no, that's as fine. I'm fine with yeah. that. Like, yeah. It, it, it like realistically, it is a bit of a compromise on like what I just said. But like, oh, let's be okay. honest, a, a crossbow is almost always going to out outperform a bow at the very least, like with raw damage. So we could have it so that like an archer, an archer could use a crossbow as like their heavy hitter kind of beat. But like, Blaze, it would take blunts, longer to... Piercings ranged. That sounds good. Yeah. You've seen dungeons yeah, and so like dragons. Spears, yeah. Get ready for blunt and bomb. <laughs> A giant weaponized blunt. Our system would let you build that. Yeah. So like... Our system would let you build basically... It would be... A, yeah, it would be like a, a, a torch. But so then it, with like a, a stun effect. So it would look like... Or something similar. Oh, wait. Hang on. We also mentioned shivs. Oh, shivs. Yeah, yeah, shivs. Blades, blunts. I probably shouldn't call it blunts. Just call it just blunt with no S. Blades, blunts, shivs. Uh, archery. Which, like... I feel like shivs might end up being the wrong thing. Oh, uh, wait, we need to have one for, for like, spears and stuff. Yeah. Uh, Balls. There you go. Poles. So, like... Yeah, and so, like, and the reason why I'm giving shivs their own thing is because it yeah, runs no, into... Because they, they, they run entirely off of cunning. They're yeah. daggers. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I see why. I see why. Uh, and then you go spellcasting... I feel like we should have spell casting slash tech casting. Wait, no, because if you're in a setting where there's where there's both spells and magic, like try to run. Yeah, we have a technology section. Yeah, but that's for like the use of technology, Live. not the use of weaponization Live. of technology, is it not? Live. Yes. Live. Yes. Yes. Live. Yes. Hello. Neither. Huh? Casting. Just casting. Casting. So the modifier for casting, when you go to use it, what will refer in the rest of the book when we're talking about spell casting or tech casting, um, we'll calculate the modifier by uh, casting plus tech or casting plus arcane. Ooh. And then no. we don't have a specific spell casting. So, we that have mean, casting as a stat. Wait. So in a tech setting, it's how good you are at doing linen, attacking, linen, basically. Linen. Yeah. That breaks a little bit. That makes casting infinitely stronger than, than um, uh, melee because they're adding two skills to it. When you swing with a sword, you're using, um, uh, say, you're using a strength sword. 
you're using strength yeah. plus blade plus a d10. Then it'll be divided by two. It'll be the average of the two. Oh, you you take the average of your casting and then your and then your arcane. Yeah, average right? casting and arcane. Okay. Does that work or is that insane? That might work, but like Hell maybe yeah. maybe we just have like casting modifier be a derived stat that we just put in like a corner of a sheet somewhere. Maybe it just says casting, and then you just either that's your spell casting or it's your tech casting, depending on the setting. Oh no, but then no, you're right. You're right because then if there's both. Yeah. If they no, you're right. If you're in a setting where there's both and you up casting, then it ups both skills, and that's yeah. not what we want. Yeah. So maybe you're we correct. just maybe, yeah, understand. maybe maybe we do the average thing. Maybe we do the average thing. But like No, because that no, doesn't work. Because it doesn't could work, be like yeah. in that world you could be good at magic and bad at tech. Yeah. Or your magic has inherently higher difficulty. So Uh, I guess spell casting, and you just don't use it if you're in a setting that doesn't have it. Or we just call it casting. Like a lot of the we skills, did, we just you call just it, don't. We just call it casting, and we just have like a setting specific thing related to it. I mean, we already said that. We already said that your casting, your casting, casting your, special, your ca specialization your, works. Your casting attribute, your casting attribute is based on a treat that you take at level one. Oh right. So it doesn't matter. We should have the casting attributes lock each other out. No. 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 Yeah, um, I agree. We're gonna say no because I'm gonna be honest, I think it's really funny if someone just take make like wait, Lennon. We said that like having your casting your casting attribute be a specific be it being a specific attribute would give you specific modifiers you can add to your spells. So if someone wants Ooh, to take did we? the that cast yes great. we did. So if someone to take the casting attribute multiple times they could have a strength spell that makes their fists explode when they punch someone. Or they could have, like, yeah. their standard fireball. Or they could have an invisible fireball that, like, hand, like hands out like a landmine. Yeah. There, like, see, I, I had the idea with the whole system that, we, that we're going to put together for it, like, building spells and stuff. Yes. The idea that you could just have, like, a punch that does an AoE. Yeah, and that would be so strength So you just run magic. in and... Yeah, you just run in and punch and, like, just AoE and then take damage yourself unless you had, like, a some type of momentary shield thing. Yeah, that would be, like, that would be strength magic. And then constitution magic would be damaging yeah, yourself to damage other people because you can take it and they can't. Uh, your intelligence would be, like, you know, your standard, like, wizard thing. Your cunning would be sneaky magic. Charisma would be magic that, like... Maybe you throw a fireball and maybe it doesn't do damage. Maybe it makes them, like, I don't know, really horny or something. I don't know. Yep. Adaptability. Adaptability would be a fun magic because, like, you could basically give it so the adaptability, um, you, you give it a table. Like, you, you just, like, we just, you just, like, there's, like, four, adaptability like... Adaptability is wild magic. Adaptability is wild magic. You throw your spell and you have no idea what the fuck it's gonna do. We could call it. We could call That's it funny. wild. We could call it wild magic savant or some shit like that. Maybe like I don't know if I don't know if uh, wizards has that copyrighted wild magic. I don't think no no wild magic is like a pretty generic term. It's fine. Okay, like, we could also do like magic chaos or something stupid like that. Chaos. We'll, we'll find words. Magic Nova. Why do I want a skill that's just quantum mechanics? And no. then mix that with spell casting. No, Lennon, we can't bring the what? super math. We can't bring the super math in. No, I know, I know, it's fine. Wow. That would just be education choice. Yeah. 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 What if we had a treat called Skeptic? The, like, it would really only work in magical campaigns, but like... You get you can cast oh, magic. You can cast magic using your education skill, and it has like some sort of penalty in some way, shape, or form. Like, I have. Uh, I. I feel like we should have that, but under a different name, because I want skeptic to be a social treat. Mm hmm. Because then we can also have conspiracy theorist. I feel like conspiracy theorist should be a should be a taint instead. Absolutely. It'll be the it'll be the opposite of the it'll be the opposite of the one. Yeah. 
like skeptics they skeptic have, can't uh, cast divine magic hell yeah skeptics can't cast divine magic and they have advantage on then they have advantage on saves against magic against sorry against divine magic but at the same time any regular spell they cast is at half um half half power right they have to divide Magical all of their mag- theories they have to give they have, they have they, they, the skeptic has to give all of their uh magic attacks at half damage so you can't really be a skeptic you can be a skeptic wizard but like because you don't believe in the magic it doesn't hit as hard the reverse is conspiracy theorists and it's the complete opposite they their spells hit for double damage but they take double damage from all magical sources and no, they i don't know that would be fun it would, but I like the names to be like purely like social things instead oh, that's of true. mage things. That's true. Like I want, I want like the I want them to be those just in those names to be setting agnostic ones. Okay, but like, but like, but like those ideas I just gave, like even if the names are different. Yeah, no, that's fun. in a, in a different name. They're great. Yeah. Um, anti mages are a fun trope. I. Do we have anti-magic? That's a setting-specific thing. Yeah. Linen? Yeah. I'm running out of brain. Yeah, me too. Um... You wanna know, call it I a day? Know, yeah, I know Chris want, m- wants to stream, or he did, but then he dropped cheese on himself. Yeah. Do you want some help finding a, a place to go? He might be... He might be... He might be... He might be starting. I'm gonna go shout at him. Okay. But like, uh... Hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mute my microphone and shout. Hi guys, my name's Lennon. Lennon Burrows of the Goblin Burrows, which is where I come from. Um, hi, I'm gonna pitch, pitch my channel for a minute. Uh, go, go see my channel over at the Goblin Burrows. I do stuff. Today I was doing art before this. Uh, doing cute stuff. We're doing a whole week. It's gonna be like a a donathon thing for spooky week so whichever week it is that halloween lands in that's it that's spooky week we're doing a donathon over on my channel i'm trying to get a new chair i want to get a new chair and i want to get a specific stupid one but come over to my channel to see that anyway I was uh, i'll once. be back i'll be back on my channel on wednesday if you want to see me playing a game i don't know what it is yet when, when did you say you were a chair once yeah okay so what's up when, when are we playing zomboid Oh, that's a good idea. You want to do that for Spooky Week? Yes! Okay, uh, I'll give you the Thursday. I have... Linen. I'll give you the Tuesday. Okay, I was gonna say. Linen, I have my sponsored stream on Thursdays. Yay. Okay, so the Monday... Monday, I'll do... I'll do the D&D. Yes. Monday night, I'll, I'll host D&D on your channel. Um, I'll probably do art on my channel that day. Then you come on my channel on the Tuesday to do Zomboid? Yes. Sweet. Um, try to kill time until Chris starts his goddamn stream up. Oh, no. Okay, do you want to hear what else I'm doing? Yes, tell me. Tell me all of the things. Um, well, over over in Twixie's Discord, if Twixie actually agrees to this, I'm trying to set up a showing of Rocky Horror Picture Show. Because I figured out how to make it interactive, like throwing bananas at the screen. Um, And I think that would be fun to mimic like the real life, like cult experience in a digital setting. So uh, watch this space for announcements of that. Assuming Liv will let me do that on this channel. Yes. So we'll have an event over in a discord. Uh, You guys can it'll be during spooky week. You'll you'll hear about it. I'll make it a big thing. Um, and we gotta come up with like a mod list for Zomboid, unless we wanna like just do it like vanilla. I'll, I, I mean, we can do it vanilla because I haven't played in like seven years. Can I request the gun mod that adds actual firearms instead of just like the three generic firearms the base game has? Only uh, one I want. Sh- Only one I want. Sure, okay. Sure. Yeah. Uh, what else am I doing? We're gonna, uh, on my channel, we're gonna do a showing of. Uh, I think Nosferatu, the old silent Ooh. one, because it's public domain. And who was flickering the lights? <laughs> Lin and do it. Lin and do it. No, I refuse. I don't do, do it. Mm. 
Nosferatu. I I love how it's canon in SpongeBob that Nosferatu just lives in the Krusty Krab. Yeah, that's pretty great. You think he just like lives in the basement or like what's his deal, you think? I think he has like a little office off to the side of the kitchen. Like you think he's like the HR like guy a... for the Krusty Krab? Yeah, absolutely. Like New like, canon. I mean, yeah. You heard like, it here first. It's like there's no way the Krusty Krab just runs with like three people, right? There's no fucking way. No, you're yeah. right. You got like a cashier, you got a fry cook, but like I mean like Mr. Krabs being so cheap that like his fry cook also has to be his prep man. Okay, like I could see that, but like I don't think you cannot I don't think you cannot have an HR office. I think you have to, right? Like the the thing about the Krusty Krab is it's way too popular to operate off those three people. You're correct. And even then, but... like one of those people is Mr. Krabs. He ain't doing shit. No, you know what? I bet, like, he's he's a pretty shrewd businessman. I think he would be doing quite a bit behind the scenes, other than just counting his money. It's just we don't see him do it. Yeah, I mean, it's probably all money-related, so he's still happy about the money. Yeah, like, he's the financier, yeah. And then a lot of it's probably just, like, thinking of, like, his secret recipe. Hmm. Um... But, like, they're way too popular. Like, either there's other locations that we don't know about... Or like, they're because... not nearly as popular as it makes it out to be. Yeah, like, like the, you can like... run a little restaurant with like a couple employees. But like the Krusty Krab is like always just packed. not a popular one. Like yeah, the, exactly. The wait times at the Krusty Krab have to be like ridiculous. On the other, On the hand, other hand, it's, it's a... a comedy show. <laughs> okay, but like, but like, here's the thing: the Krusty Krab was popular before SpongeBob was even born. You know. So like it's been Who that popular the for a decade. Then? Is there ever is that ever addressed? Yes. The there is Was it Squidward? No. Um there was a guy no, it was Broly from Dragon. No. Um the um uh the, they do an episode where he shows that his name is Jim. And um oh, apparently okay. he was a very, 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 very good fry cook. He was so good that he asked Mr. Krabs for a five cent raise. Oh, and got fired? And yeah, Mr. Krabs fired him. And so he made up his own gym burger, and he made a competing restaurant um, that is so popular that, like, he, uh, like, arrives in a fucking, like, limo and everything. And he only doesn't open a restaurant in Bikini Bottom out of respect for the Krusty Krab. Neat. Yeah. It's actually, like, a really interesting thing. And then SpongeBob is so, like, worried that he's going to lose his job, because from SpongeBob's perspective, the Krusty Krab is the best restaurant under the sea. So, of course, Jim is coming back to get his job back. And, like, literally, Jim is like, Spongebob, I wouldn't work in this place if, they, if I got paid a billion dollars a day. And Mr. Krab said, yeah, I wouldn't hire Jim. I, I'd rather you, Spongebob. You're a lot more affordable. Yeah. Love, yeah, what a wonderful boss. Why is Chris taking his time starting his stream? I'm sorry. No, that's good. I'm here. Yeah. But, like... The so forest crunch wild crabs had an even better fry cook. No, he had a fry cook that she knew was worse. That's that's the actual difference. Liv. Yes. Tell me about what you're doing. Um. Like on the channel, what's what's going on here? From what's... mental illness. Yeah. Uh, um, good luck. Uh. <laughs> what what Sorry. am I doing? I didn't make I didn't make the schedule this week, so I don't actually know. Splish. Okay, well, like, this is your channel. Pitch your own shit. Uh. Yes, hello, everybody. Um. I. I. Uh. Oh, no. Uh. <laughs> so, on Mondays. I mean, not this week, but, like, for Halloween. Uh. So, oh, yeah. The, the sponsored stream. So, for every Thursday oh, for the yeah. month of October, I'm at 4 p.m. Eastern. I'm doing a. 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 A stream where I run. A mini campaign for some friends using the um, pre like the playtest content from Grave Robber's Guide to Ghouls and Ghosts. Uh, it's really fun. It's set in Koros. The 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 speaker of um, Karanir got kidnapped by the cult of life and death that me and Linen made, and uh, they have to stop him from being moidered. It's a lot of fun. Moidered. Moidered. 
Uh, that it's does a lot sound of fun. Like a good time. Yeah, and also like because it's all playtest material, it still needs testing. So um, some broken stuff happens sometimes, and it's great. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, they the cult like as their introduction tried to kidnap an Asimar for some reason that they never found out, and um, mid kidnapping, uh, Sprig used their Sangermancer, who has an ability where they can roll a hit dice and basically cast a spell multiple on multiple targets based on the number of hit dice number of de- like number they rolled on that hit dice and they cast Ozalux resilient sphere on the entire party and the bartender so so like, like in like in like you know in like the space of like a 6 second round um the cult draws their knives throws down magical darkness that the players can't see through but they can see through cuz they've got magical like night vision goggles they go to grab the bartender and tie him up, truss him up, and go run, start running with him. Sprig's character casts four Ozalux resilient spheres that cannot be moved and cannot be destroyed. So the Celtus had to just fucking give up, but not before one of them got eaten <laughs> by our artificer's Frankenstein T Rex. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where did that come from? They can just make those. Oh, okay. Yeah. They just, they just have a Frankenstein... Well, it's an Allosaurus, technically. Did they have to dig one up, or, like... It's not an actual Allosaurus. It, like, just looks like one. Oh, so it's, you know, like, in, it's like a golem. Yeah. Of meat. Yeah, they just kind of put meat together. In the shape in, of a dinosaur. Yeah, my... my I, like, I didn't explain to them that dinosaurs don't exist in the, in the universe. So my internalized yeah. thing is... It's, it's, like, it's like a legendary beast that they've just crafted out of meat. That's like, pretty great. Yeah, like someone making a meat dragon in real life. Yeah, that's a normal thing that people do all the time. I've made several. <laughs> it's a holiday tradition. Yeah, do you not make a meat dragon every Halloween, Lennon? Uh, of course I do. What are you talking about? I was got to say, like, like, how are you going to fend off the invading Krampus if you don't have a meat dragon to protect your keep? I'm just saying. Yeah, a girl's gotta have her meat dragon. Exactly. I mean, what? Yeah, and then once the Krampi have been repelled, you then consume the meat dragon to gain its strength. The wonderful uh, tradition for all. Anyway, uh, use code live the cyber doll at bad dragon for. Uh... <laughs> Lennon, thank you for going What's along up? with my bullshit. I appreciate you. <laughs> All right, uh, Chris is Chris is live. We're going to go raid Chris. He's going to be playing oh, a yeah. thing. Uh, oh, he's going to be playing World of Warcraft with me, probably. So I will see you all over there. Raid message is, um, what's up, sexy? That's it. That's it. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. I love you. Okay, bye.